Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Marine. Crazy. You call it a ninja. Chapter 61. Rumbling. A deafening roar resounded. The terrifying power mixed with the heart-pounding energy wave swept out, which directly caused countless huge cracks visible to the naked eye on Field Island, and the turbulent sea began to pour back. Certainly, with Sarutobi Hirazan's final blow. Under the perception of observation hockey, Drought Jack's life breath has completely disappeared. Obviously dead can't die anymore. Quiet, the whole place was silent. Seeing this scene, whether it was merchants, pirates, bounty hunters, or the king of lone sharks, Lou Field and others on the island, their hearts were shocked, their bodies softened, and they slumped directly on the ground with a burst of expression. Shock and palpitations. Died, the mammoth army of the beast's pirates was almost wiped out. Together with the drought jack, one of the three disasters, they were all killed by Sarutobi Hirazan of the West Blue T3 branch with absolute crushing potential. This terrifying strength made them a little desperate, including the King of Lone Sharks, Lou Field all trembling. More importantly, the whole sea and the sky will change. I thought that Lou Ole from the West Blue T3 branch wouldn't dare to come to New World at, but now it's better. After a month, he not only came, but also let his subordinates kill one of the three disasters, Drought Jack, with a thunderous force. So, don't think about it, we'll know that the governor of the beast's pirates, Kaido of the beasts, must be furious. The four emperors were furious. The entire grand line will surely shake, setting off endless blood and rain. Swish, a cracking sound rang out. Sarutobi Hirazan withdrew from the giant Donkey Kong form, and with a flash, he stood on the deck of the merchant ship, his eyes narrowed slightly, he held his pipe, and he smoked leisurely again. This time, he played very well, in particular, the terrifying power of armament hockey and ninjutsu's perfect combination made him extremely satisfied. Next, he figured out a way to elevate conqueror's hockey. The top conqueror's hockey is said to be able to entangle and strengthen attacks. If armament hockey, Conqueror's Hockey, Ninjutsu, and the three can be used in combination, it is exciting and exciting to think about it. It's finally about to start. Boss Lu Ole, we are here waiting for the Beast's Pirates to come. Yei Ui and Hoshigaki Kisame flashed an undisguised violent fighting intent in their eyes, and they obviously couldn't wait. Sarutobi Hirazan made a big deal on Kamui, are they so itchy? Hum, okay. Lu Ole nodded lightly but his eyes turned to the king of lone sharks, Lou Feld, who was already paralyzed on the ground. This time, Jack cooperated with him in the drought. Scrape it up. Ha, huh, the sea is going to be lively. Zephyr took a deep breath with a complicated and excited look. He is very clear that the next thing will be beyond the control of all parties, marine, pirates, world government, various countries, etc., will focus on Luo Lei and others, the West Bluet who controls the lightning in West Blue minus three branch, to the new world to stir up the situation. Drought, Jack's body should still be valuable, right? The next moment, Luo Lei stood on the pier that was already in ruins in a flash, glanced at the ivory and some bones left by Jack the Drow, and commanded silently, system, these corpse residues can be exchanged for. For raffle points. Can, the cold mechanical sound of the system. Okay, then exchange it for me. Upon receiving a positive answer from the system, Luole was overjoyed and couldn't help but ordered. It's a real surprise, he just asked casually, but I didn't expect that I could also get lottery points. Ding. One of the three disasters of Beast's Pirates, Drought Jack's body residue, can be exchanged for 100,000 lottery points, whether the host can be exchanged. Only 100,000. Luo Lei's mouth twitched slightly. If I knew earlier, I should have let Sarutobi Hirazan start lightly. If the corpse is intact, it can definitely be exchanged for a lot of lottery points, and the corpses of the pirates of the Beast's Pirates that have been turned into ashes can definitely be exchanged for some lottery points. Well now, a battle is over. There is no opportunity for waste utilization, it is really too wasteful. Correct. A few seconds later, Luo Lei seemed to have thought of something, his body flickered a few times, and he stood in front of Lu Field, the King of Lone Sharks. What? The King of Lone Sharks, Lu Feld, who was shivering with fright, looked in panic the moment he saw Luo Lei. It's boring. Luo Lei shook his head helplessly. Anyway, there is time, and after this guy wakes up, the interrogation will be conducted. The other side, after hesitating for a moment, 
Zephyr on deck took out his phone bug and dialed Naval Headquarters Marshal Sengoku. Naval Headquarters, inside Marshal Sengoku's office. Alas, another heavy sigh. Sengoku frowned when he saw the document being processed, and stopped with a dignified expression. During this time, I don't know what happened, Sengoku always felt uneasy, as if something big happened. Shouldn't it be? After taking a sip of hot tea from the teacup, Sengoku smiled and shook his head. It seems that during this period of time, he has been working too hard, causing him to be a little powerless. After all, at his level, he is rarely distracted, rather. Boo, boo, sudden, just at this time, the voice of the telephone bug on the table rings in vain. Ha, huh, looking at the ringing phone bug, Sengoku frowned, and there was a vague foreboding in his heart, but, the phone worm was still connected. Hey, this is Naval Headquarters, I'm Sengoku. Marshal Sengoku, I'm Zephyr. Ah, Zephyr. As soon as he heard Zephyr's voice, Sengoku suddenly relaxed. He knew that Zephyr was going on vacation, and there should be no major events to report to him. What's the matter with you? Do you want to extend your vacation? No. Dot quote. The phone bug. Zephyr took a deep breath and said solemnly, the West BLUET-3 branch has already arrived in the New World, and just now annihilated the mammoth army of the beasts pirates and killed one of the three plagues, Drought Jack. What? What did you say? Boom. Sengoku, who was already relaxed. Hearing Zephyr's words, he stood up like a conditioned reflex, and the ultimate exclaimed in shock. What? What did you say? Boom. Sengoku, who was already relaxed. Hearing Zephyr's words, he stood up like a conditioned reflex, and the ultimate exclaimed in shock. What? Branch head of T3 branch, Luo Lei, isn't it at West Blue? How did you get to the New World, and killed one of the three plagues, Drought Jack, and wiped out the mammoth legion of the beasts pirates? This, is this a joke? If the phone bug is not Zephyr. Sengoku wanted to yell at him, but. Rao was so horrified that he couldn't control his emotions. Gollum, Gollum. The next moment, Sengoku picked up the teacup on the table, sipped a few gulps of hot tea, barely controlled his emotions, and said solemnly, Zephyr, do you know what you're talking about? I know, the phone bug. Zephyr took a deep breath and said calmly, Marshal Sengoku, everything I said is true, the new world is going to be turbulent. Will you tell me what happened in new world? Sengoku suppressed his throbbing and said solemnly, I want to know how Luole and others got to new world. Good, the phone bug, Zephyr has no intention of concealing. After all, this time, in front of a large audience, I attacked the drought jack. It's impossible to hide it. In a day at most, the whole sea will know that Luo Lei's subordinate, Sarutobi Hirazan moved the hand. Therefore, under such circumstances, Zephyr quickly recounted what happened on the New World side, Field Island, from beginning to end. And listening to the voice of the phone bug, Sengoku's expression was changing, and strands of cold sweat overflowed from his forehead. Especially when he heard Sarutobi Hirazan's incarnation of the giant Donkey Kong performing armed ninjutsu, Sengoku could no longer suppress his inner emotions and completely lost his temper. Hum. In an instant, the terrifying conqueror's hockey swept out. It directly shook the doors of the desks and chairs in Sengoku's office with cracks like spider webs. This. Perceiving movement in Sengoku's office. Naval headquarters. Garp, who was sleeping in his own office. Staff officer Crane who was dealing with documents. Three Admiral Kazaru, Aokiji, Akainu, and even some vice admiral in the headquarters were all stunned unconsciously. What's wrong? Is it menopause? Is Marshal Sengoku's mood swings too frequent? This is the second time Conqueror's hockey has erupted without warning. Incredible. Fortunately, the scope of the outbreak of Conqueror's hockey was controlled this time, and it was limited to the office. Otherwise, the naval headquarters would not be shaken. Aokiji, Akainu, Kazaru, Staff Crane, Garp, speed up to the conference room for a meeting. However, didn't make Aokiji wait long. After hearing what happened in New World, Sengoku hung up the phone bug and gave a loud command. Something big happened, almost at the moment when the voice fell. Aokiji, Akainu, Kazaru, Chief Crane, Garp's expression suddenly turned serious. Sengoku can't wait to convene everyone for a meeting. Things must be big. Ten minutes later, inside a top meeting room at naval headquarters, Marshal Sengoku, 
Marine 3 Admiral Aokiji, Akainu, Kazaru, and Staff Crane, Garp all sat here. What? Jack the Dro was tortured and killed by Luo Lei's subordinate Serutobi Hirazan. When did Luo Lei Vice Admiral come to New World, why don't we have any information? That old man named Serutobi Hirazan is not only a ninja, but also a rare demon fruit power in the form of Gorilla Fruit, Phantom Beast and King Kong. Drought Jack was killed by armed ninjutsu. After Sengoku recounted what Zephyr had reported. Immediately, Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, even the always wise and wise counselor Crane, the condescending Garp couldn't help but let out a series of exclamations. Incredible. It's really unbelievable. Originally everyone was still watching, when will Luo Lei from the West Blue T3 branch go to the G1 branch in the second half of the Grand Line? All right now, don't pay attention to West Blue. Others have passed ninjutsu and instantly moved to the new world. There is also a monster-level ninja under his command, who killed one of the three disasters of the beast's pirates with thunder. Jack. For a time, the atmosphere in the conference room became a little dignified and weird. Needless to say, with the Marine G1 branch being destroyed by Whitebeard and Kaido, this news is definitely a great boost for Marine, and it can also revive Marine's prestige and self-confidence. But, killing Drought Jack, one of the three disasters, is equivalent to tearing his face with Kaido, one of the four emperors, and officially declaring war. Well known, one of the beasts of the four emperors Kaido is a lunatic. Once war is declared, no one knows what horrible things Kaido will do. This is also what Marine is afraid of. Otherwise, with the strength of the three admiral, he can't kill the beasts Kaido, kill the three disasters with one kill, and fly the six people. Dare to do it, even the ordinary pirates of the beasts pirates are rarely killed, just for fear of stimulating Kaido of the beasts, a lunatic. Good guy, now Luo Lei has just arrived at New World. The drought ended Jack, and he slapped Kaido of the beasts in the face mercilessly. This made Aokiji and others feel a little bit of pain. Are you Marine, or the Vice Admiral of Naval Headquarters, the Substitute Admiral, you are so arrogant and violent that it is difficult for us to do Naval Headquarters. Ha ha ha, the new world is going to be turbulent. I do not know how long it has been. Garp took the lead in returning to his usual dangling appearance, took out the snacks, and laughed loudly, Luo Lei, did you really do a big thing? Ninjutsu is really amazing, the old man couldn't help but want it. Learn. Luo Lei's subordinates are all monsters. Aokiji shook his head and said, that Sarutobi here is indefinitely has a combat power that rivals or even surpasses Admiral. If you don't do it, it's already amazing. Once you do it, it will be amazing. Kazaru revealed a serious expression in his wretchedness, and said, four monster-level ninjas are in the new world, and the four emperors are going to have a headache. So, are we going to fight? Hearing Aokiji Kazaru saying something useless, Akainu said something gloomy. In fact, up to now, Akainu has no good impression of Luo Lei. With such a strong strength, don't you know how to take the initiative to return to naval headquarters? Have to let Marshal Sengoku or Celestial Dragons bow their heads to you and admit their mistakes. How is that possible? However, Luo Lei's attitude towards the pirates, Akainu is still very satisfied, the pirates should be killed. Definitely going to war. Hearing this, Sengoku nodded and said in a deep voice, Luo Lei is the branch head of the G1 branch, or the naval headquarters vice admiral, the substitute admiral. If we sit back and ignore it, then Marine will be finished. So, we have to prepare for a war with the four emperor's pirates. When it comes to this, there was a rare resolute look in Sengoku's eyes. The development of things up to now has exceeded the expectations of countless people, so we can only take one step at a time. As for giving up Luo Lei, how is that possible? On the one hand, Luo Lei is a member of the Marine, and when threatened by the four emperors, he will give up the marine soldiers at will, then the marine may not be able to mix in the sea, on the other hand, Luo Lei and him the strength of his subordinates is very pervert. If they give up, the consequences will be very serious. We marines should just wait and see what happens. Sudden, just at this time, Garp took a bite of Senbei and said meaningfully, with the strengths of Luo Lei, Hoshigaki Kisame, Serutobi Hiruzen, Yeui Ai, Beasts pirates may not be able to beat, so we only need to put Marine in some branches of the New World, it is enough to protect them in case the beast Kaido destroys them everywhere. It seems to be, 
Sengoku thought about it carefully, and suddenly felt a little helpless and depressed. Think carefully. Luo Lei doesn't seem to need the help of naval headquarters. His own strength is strong, and his subordinates are also strong, and he is already comparable to the four emperor's pirates. If naval headquarters rushes to help, it's okay to accept, if not, wouldn't Marine's face be swollen again? It's just that he never thought that the marine genius who was hidden by him at the beginning would grow up to the point where he could face the four emperor's pirates face to face after three years. No matter what, we marines should prepare first. Finally, Sengoku still ordered. A day later, what happened at New World Field Island? Finally, at a very fast speed, spread over the whole sea. For a time, countless news newspapers, just like the New Year, distributed countless news newspapers with different titles. When everyone learned that Luo Lei and others had teleported to the New World through ninjutsu, and destroyed the cooperation between the giant of the underground dark forces, the king of lone sharks, Lu, Field and Beast's pirates in one fell swoop on Field Island, after killing one of the three plagues, Drought Jack, the mammoth legion was wiped out. Hum, the whole sea was terrified. Did not think of. Countless people have not thought of. The head of the T3 branch, Luo Lei, who had been in West Blue for a month, would act with lightning speed, killing Jack the Drow, one of the three plagues, and catching the giant of the underground dark forces, the lone shark. King, Road, Field. How terrifying is this? The giant of the underground dark forces, the king of lone sharks, Blue Field has nothing. But, dot, Drought Jack, one of the three disasters, represents Kaido, one of the four emperors, the beast. Now that the Drought Jack is dead, you know with your butt that Kaido will definitely be angry. Beast's Kaido is furious. New world couple, there will be bloodshed again. The war in the new world is about to begin again. Countless big pirates, the giants of the underground dark forces, unknowingly have some tremors. The war in the new world is about to begin again. Countless big pirates, the giants of the underground dark forces, unknowingly have some tremors. Originally, when Luo Lei and others huddled in West Blue motionless, many people thought that the matter had passed, and that Marine suffered a loss after all, and was slapped in the face by Whitebeard and Kaido. Now, the fact is that it has slapped countless people in the face. What even naval headquarters dare not do lightly, Luo Lei did it as soon as he arrived in New World, and he did it neatly. Drought, one of the three disasters, Jack said he would kill without mercy. Therefore, countless people began to focus on New World, more precisely on Field Island. There, crossing the River Dragon and the local snake are about to break out a battle that will affect the whole sea. No matter what the result is, there may be a drastic change in the pattern of the sea. As for seeing naval headquarters reaction, just forget it. One dares to face the four emperors as soon as he arrives in the new world, hockey is full. The same as marine, the gap is too big. New world. The second half of the grand line. Since a fight with the beast Kaido a month ago, and the destruction of marine's G1 branch by the way. The whitebeard pirates returned to their own waters in a mighty way. At this time, on the deck of the Moby Dick, no one speaks. The atmosphere gradually became a little weird and solemn. Looking around, I saw the captains of the various divisions of the Whitebeard Pirates looked at the latest newspaper in their hands, their expressions were extremely complex and shocking, one of the three disasters, the Drought Jack was bombed to death, it was West Bluet 3 the hand of Serutobi Hirazan of the branch. Shock, incredible, for the captains of the divisions of the Whitebeard Pirates. They have seen the world too. But, dot but I've never seen Marine playing such an unreasonable card. As soon as he arrived in the New World, he killed Drought Jack, one of the three plagues. Does this mean he wants to fight the Beast's pirates? Judging from the information in the newspapers and the information collected by the Whitebeard pirates, the guy named Serutobi Hirazan showed too much strength. Using the abilities of ninjutsu and devil fruit, he directly crushed the Drought. Jack, this terrifying strength made them all tremble. More importantly, in addition to Serutobi Hirazan, the new G1 branch head Luo Lei, and his subordinate Hoshigaki Kisame, Yei I, are said to be not weak. This, is a little scary. Giu La La La, this marine named Luo Lei seems to be different from the marine we have ever met. Seeing that his sons were all shocked, Whitebeard, who had been drinking all the time, shook his head and said, own unique laughter. Dad, is it really okay? 
Luo Lei and his subordinates are not good people. Dad Whitebeard, Ninja, it's incredible how strong you can be. What kind of ninjutsu can go directly from West Blue to New World, ninjutsu is amazing. After hearing Whitebeard's laughter, Marco, Foil Bista, and the others all looked a little dignified, but still felt a little uneasy in their hearts. I don't know if the ninja is strong or not, but... Dad is Whitebeard. Listening to his son's voice, Whitebeard picked up a jar of wine and drank it with a big gulp. A gleam of light flashed in the depths of his eyes. Instead of answering his son's question, he said very freely, CCFF, no matter what. Anyone who dares to attack our Whitebeard pirates will die without a place to be buried. Also, I don't regret killing the Marine G1 branch. Originally, Whitebeard has forgotten this little thing. But, Luo Lei, as the new head of Marine G1 branch, killed one of the three disasters, Jack, just after arriving in New World. Whitebeard couldn't help but remember. But, that's all, he, Whitebeard, did things that he would never regret or be afraid of, and had no reason to find. That's right, hearing this sentence, Marco shook his head in annoyance, and took the initiative to say, Dad is the strongest man in the sea, why do we worry so much? Ha ha ha, Father Whitebeard, we are overthinking. Drink, let's drink and eat meat and watch a play. With father here, no matter how strong the ninja is, there is no use for it. Soon, with the beginning of Marco, Foil Bista, Sage and the others all showed a sudden realization, and laughed again. It's because they think too much, Father Whitebeard is not worried, what are they worried about? Anyway, with Father Whitebeard here, no one can help. For a time, on the deck is another scene of a father's kindness and filial piety. In the corner of the deck, a man with several teeth missing, holding a newspaper, his eyes flickered with disbelief. Ninja, or a ninja who ate devil fruit. The new branch head of the G1 branch, Luo Lei and his subordinates, seemed to be very strong. Blackbeard Teach's expression became gloomy and he gritted his teeth. Forbearance, but also forbearance, stay for the time being. On Father Whitebeard's ship, as long as the devil fruit can be found, everything will be. At the same time, New World, the second half of the Grand Line. Big Redhead, something big has happened in New World. King Kong will be armed with ninjutsu, and directly crush the Drought Jack, one of the three disasters. The New World is going to go wild, and Kaido of the Beasts is going to be furious. The new head of G1 branch, Luo Lei, was too daring to let his subordinates kill one of the three disasters, Drought Jack. Quote, quote, on the deck, the pirates of Red Hair Pirates looked at the newspapers in their hands, and exclaimed in no particular order, obviously also frightened by the various information in the newspapers. It's really troublesome, New World is going to run wild. Hearing these words, the red-haired Shanks didn't look like an emperor at all, took a sip of wine, and said cursingly, the soldiers will block the water and cover up, let's red hair pirates watch the show first. By the way, Beckman, what do you think? The next moment, the red-haired Shanks turned his eyes and looked at Ben Beckman, the sergeant and deputy captain of the red hair pirates, who was smoking a cigar. Woo! Ben Beckman exhaled a puff of white smoke and said, I'm a little unclear about Luo Lei's purpose. He was frozen by Marine three years ago, and what he does now seems to be his own opinion. His ninjas are very strong, and their ninjutsu is very pervert. Yeah, red-haired Shanks's deep eyes flashed a shocking color, and he responded, the teleportation from West Blue to New World is a bug-level ninjutsu, and maybe there are some horror ninjutsu that have not appeared. Watch it change. Ben Beckman nodded, smoked his cigar, and said nothing more. And in the first half of the Grand Line, a pirate ship. Dover. Dover. Another big thing happened. I saw Toropal snorted and walked to Doflamingo's side, trembling and said, the people from the West Blue T3 branch have instantly moved to the New World through ninjutsu, and killed them. Jack the Drill, one of the three plagues. What? Doflamingo, who was lying on the chair, stood up suddenly, and said with a horrified expression, they have already arrived in the New World. They also killed Jack the Drill, one of the three plagues. Yes, after hearing this, Toropal carefully handed the newspaper in his hand to Doflamingo. This, ignoring the slime on the newspaper, Doflamingo looked up quickly. Result, the more I look, the more shocked, the more I look, the more shocked. The group of monster-level ninjas from the West Blue T3 branch actually went to the New World and killed Jack the Drow, one of the three plagues. 
Is this a rhythm that is going to be turned upside down? Go and prepare 10 devil fruits, any attribute will do. At the next moment, Da Flamingo seemed to have thought of something, and ordered in a deep voice, Once the battle of New World is decided, I will give these 10 devil fruits as gifts. To Luo Lei. Dover, do you think Kaido, one of the four emperors, will lose? Torapal's expression changed suddenly, and he subconsciously retorted, Hundred Beasts Kaido is the emperor of the Grand Line, how could he possibly lose? You don't understand. Da Flamingo's cheeks flashed a hint of fear, and said, The monster ninja of the West Blue T3 branch is more powerful than expected, and the beast Kaido is very likely to lose. After saying this, Da Flamingo also shook his head with some lingering fears. Only through experience will he know how terrifying the monster ninja of the West Blue T3 branch is. He was madly abused by Yeui Ai. Others don't know it, but he knows that Yeui Ai has never shown his true skills. Moreover, can instantly teleport from West Blue to New World. The monster ninjas of the West BLUET3 branch are already invincible, so ten devil fruits must be given. As for him being captured by Yeui Ai madly, these are all small things. After using a lot of relationships and resources, isn't he safe from Marine now? I have to say that although he has given up that identity, but, sometimes, it's still really useful. Okay, understood. Torapal didn't dare to say anything, and nodded hurriedly. Fur 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 fur, the sea is really getting more and more interesting, and the tide of the times is getting more and more turbulent. After Torapal left, Da Flamingo put down the newspaper in his hand and made a sound that was half a smile. At the same time, more than Whitebeard, Redhead Shanks, Da Flamingo, such as Bigmom Charlotte Linlin, one of the four emperors, the world's largest swordsman Dracul Mahawk, the female emperor Boa Hancock, Hexia Jinbei, and some large and small pirates have all been done by Luo Lei and others. In order to be shocked, they followed the news of New World. After all, the people from the West Blue T3 branch have already shown their swords, and it's up to the beast's pirates to counterattack. The beast Kaido who wants to come to one of the four emperors should not disappoint everyone. Certainly, there is still a small group of people watching naval headquarters. However, disappointing this small group of people, from the beginning to the end, naval headquarters did not issue any statement, and did not make any action, but simply let the marine branch of New World go into a defensive state. Won't naval headquarters be involved? Therefore, in this situation, this part of the people who were paying attention to naval headquarters flashed a hint of doubt on their cheeks. Obviously can't figure it out. Why is naval headquarters unresponsive? Is it because the people from the West Blue T3 branch can face the beast's pirates? Incredible. New world. The residence of Kaido, one of the beasts of the four emperors, is the island of Oni. Quiet. The entire ghost island is dead silent. Without any sound, it's as if something terrible has happened. Countless pirates of beasts pirates were either kneeling on the ground, lying on the ground, or even daring to breathe, for fear of disturbing Master Kaido in the central area of Oni Island. As for the reason, of course, because of the drought, one of the three disasters, Jack's death, just started. After learning that the beasts pirates big board, the drought Jack with a bounty of one billion Bailey died at the hands of Serutobi Hirazan of the West Blue T3 branch, no one in the beasts pirates believed it. Funny. Who dares to kill Drought Jack, one of the three plagues of the Beast's Pirates, in New World? Not even Marine dares. The other three four Emperor's Pirates did not dare either. Because, once killed, that is the end of immortality. Result, when the truth of the matter is returned to Onishima. The island of ghosts is boiling, and countless pirates from Beast's Pirates are shocked and pale, as if they can't believe that one of the three disasters, Drought Jack, died just like that. But, the facts are in front of everyone, whether you believe it or not, you have to believe it. Drought Jack really died, he was killed by Luo Lei's subordinate Serutobi Hirazan with ninjutsu. In an instant, the whole beast's pirates is angry. Whether it is one of the three disasters, Jin, Quinn, or Fei Lubao, they are all furious to ultimate. Luo Lei and others are really deceiving people too much. Moreover, as the famous beast's pirates, they also have dignity and face. Now being slapped like this, if you don't take the initiative, what will others think of Beast's Pirates? Think Beast's Pirates are easy to bully. But, at the crucial moment, Jin, one of the three disasters, was the first to come back to his senses. 
The riot of the beast's pirates was suppressed, and the news was quickly reported to Kaido, the beast who was in retreat. Then, hundred beasts Kaido was also angry. In New World, being slapped in the face so viciously, the beast Kaido could hardly bear it, nor would he bear it. Just kidding, as one of the four emperors of the King's Landing Grand Line, he has always been the only one to kill others and destroy other people's things. No one dares to take the initiative to bully the beast's pirates. Hum, under such circumstances, I don't know how long it took. In the central area of Onishima, without warning, a terrifying aura that reached ultimate swept out, setting off a wave of palpitating air. Under the trembling attention of countless beasts pirates pirates, black clouds appeared in the air, as if black clouds were pressing down on the city, making the entire island of ghosts full of chills, meaning. Kaido boss is angry, feeling this overwhelming pressure. All over the island of ghosts, the pirates of the beasts pirates lying on their stomachs and kneeling, all want to cry. They know very well that the boss of Kaido, who is in a rage, kills even his own people. For example, he uses Conqueror's hockey to suppress everything, and the pirates of beasts pirates are suppressed. And in the central area of Onishima Island, one of the three plagues, Blaze, Jin, and Pandemic. Quinn, Flying Six, Fuzzy Fu, Sasaki, Junti, Black Maria, some of the real hidden givers, and Wanokuni's general, Kurozumi Orochi, are all even with his head lowered, strands of cold sweat poured out of his forehead, and he didn't even dare to breathe. They didn't actually expect that when Drought Jack went out to discuss cooperation with Lu Feld, the king of loan sharks, he was caught in one pot and lost his life. Good, really good, right in front of him, who had just left the customs, was extremely tall and burly, with black hair and a shawl, Kaido of the beasts with a pair of dragon horns, laughed and roared, whoever dares to kill the beasts pirates, then be prepared for my wrath. Boom, deafening roar, extremely violent, creepy. Since this is the case, then I will start a top-level war. The next moment, Beast Kaido flashed an extremely violent look in his eyes, and roared up to the sky, first kill those ninjas in West Blue, and then declare war on Marine, I want to make Marine uneasy in New World. Boss Kaido is totally crazy. Facing the almost crazy Kaido of the beasts. One of the three plagues, Blaze, Jin, and Pandemic, Quinn, Flying Six, Fuzzy Fu, Sasaki, Junti, Black Maria, part of the real hidden giver, and the general of Wanokuni, Kurozumi Orochi, is a group of of shivering. They have never seen such a crazy Kaido boss before. Marine from New World is definitely dead. As for the new branch head of the G1 branch, Luo Lei, he will usher in the craziest attack and revenge in history. Boss Kaido. But, just at this time, Jin, one of the three plagues, flashed a tangled color on his cheeks under the mask, and said cautiously, that Sarutobi Hiruzen is the orangutan fruit, 020, real, phantom beast, and King Kong form. Demon fruit power, and also developed armed ninjutsu, his strength is no trivial matter. What's even scarier is that they have mastered a kind of ninjutsu that can teleport. When it comes to this, fire calamity, Jin was a little trembling and frightened. But, seeing that Kaido didn't speak, he continued to speak, whether it's Luo Lei, Yei Ai, Hoshigaki Kisame, Serutobi Hiruzen, they all seem to have extremely powerful ninjutsu, once they can control the sea water. HMPH, shut up. It's not over yet. The extremely impatient beast Kaido snorted and growled, you are questioning Lao Tzu's strength. Do you think Lao Tzu will lose? Boom, T, flame calamity, Jin was sweating coldly on his forehead, unable to suppress his trembling body, he knelt on the ground subconsciously, not showing any signs of the three calamities. The stronger the opponent, the more excited I am. Hundred beasts Kaido smiled savagely, with a hint of excitement mixed with the violence, you will never understand how boring immortality is. Yes, boss Kaido, flame calamity, Jin, who was kneeling on the ground, nodded hurriedly. Kurozumi Orochi, didn't Wanokuni find something? The next moment, by beast Kaido turned his eyes and looked at Kurozumi, who had been shivering with his head down. Not found, Kurozumi took a deep breath, suppressed the fear in his heart, and said cautiously, compared with Luo Lei and others, those ninjas in Wanokuni are just garbage among garbage, and they are completely different. Looks like there's a secret. 
Kaido of the Beast's violent eyes froze, and he muttered to himself, Ninja, it's long overdue to retire from the stage of history, and now it suddenly rises, what does it mean? Ha ha ha, whatever he means. After a few seconds, Kaido of the Beast smiled disdainfully, opened his arms, his terrifying momentum shook in all directions, I'm going to die, even if there are secrets, there is no need to think so much. Declare war. Boom. After this sentence, in less than half a day, the Beast's pirates went into action and officially declared war on Marine. When the news came out, the whole world was shocked. Coming. Here comes the reaction of the Beast's pirates. Although expected, after hearing the news that the Beast's pirates declared war on Marine. See, countless people still showed fearful expressions. On one side is the extremely powerful naval headquarters Vice Admiral, the Substitute Admiral, Luo Lei, and on the other side is Kaido, one of the kings in the second half of the Grand Line. War, it seems to be on the verge of fire. Holy Land Mariajoy. This is the residence of the world's highest power, five elders, the seat of the world government, and the residence of the celestial dragons. At this time, central region, inside the office castle of the world government, the conference room of the five elders, the top leader of the world government, the pillar of the world government, and the five elders who are higher than the commander-in-chief of the world government, are gathering here, either sitting or standing. Isn't the era of ninjas over? The only ninjas left in Wanokuni are also surviving. What kind of terrifying ninjutsu is it to be able to teleport from West Blue to New World? That guy named Serutobi Hirazan has perfectly integrated ninjutsu and armament hockey, and his strength is definitely not inferior to the four emperors. Luo Lei's subordinates Yeui Ai, Hoshigaki Kisame, and Serutobi Hirazan seemed to appear out of nowhere, and no clues were found. Kaido of the Beasts has declared war, so let Luo Lei touch the four emperors. If he can really kill a four emperors, it will undoubtedly be the best outcome. The emperor's pirates are also extremely beneficial to us, and even if they die together, then double happiness will come. The five five elders looked at the latest information in their hands and discussed with each other with extremely solemn expressions. For the beast Kaido, they didn't take it seriously. But, dot for Luo Lei, Yeui Ai, Hoshigaki Kisame, Serutobi Hirazan, who were born out of nowhere, but he attached great importance to them. As for the reason, of course, this is because Luo Lei and others are too mysterious and weird. More importantly, they were vaguely worried that the ninjas who had disappeared for hundreds of years were about to rise again. Lord Yimu doesn't have any instructions, and we shouldn't act rashly. Soon, the five elders with the highest status in the five elders took a deep breath and said solemnly, let Marine not use Luo Lei too much, this son is ambitious and reckless, and Marine can't suppress it. Three years ago, it was hidden in the snow, and now it's back strong. I suspect Luo Lei has another purpose. One of the five elders responded with a cold expression. No respect for world government and celestial dragons, naval headquarters vice admiral, substitute admiral, is his limit. Another five elders added, let Marine be careful not to get backstabbed. The sea is going to be turbulent. Let's discuss the seven warlords of the sea system. Can, the sea is turbulent, especially after the beast's pirates declared war on marine. The whole sea, countless eyes turned to Field Island in the second half of the Grand Line. Because, after killing Drought Jack, it seems that they are not afraid of beast's pirates, Luo Lei, Yei Ai, Serutobi Hirazan, Hoshigaki Kisame, instead of leaving, they live in Field Island. Almost predictably, an earth-shattering war is inevitable. At this time, Field Island, after the drought Jack died, the whole island has been completely plunged into turmoil. And the civilians on this island know what will happen next, and they all start desperately to escape from this island. As for the merchants, pirates, bounty hunters, etc. on the island, they also left the island at the first time. Luo Lei and others didn't care too much about this, they were just small characters, they ran away not enough to worry about. Therefore, in a few days, Field Island was left empty and became a sky island. In the central area of island, a hotel does not have a tense and panic atmosphere, but is extremely calm. Zephyr was sitting on a chair, looking at the newspapers in his hand, while Luo Lei, Hoshigaki Kisame, Yeui Ai, and Sarutobi Hirazan were sitting on the chairs next to them, drinking water and eating. The turmoil caused this time is really not small, the beast's pirates have already set off. 
After a while, Zephyr put down the newspaper in his hand and said solemnly, if there is no miscalculation, I should be able to arrive at Field Island tomorrow. I can't ask for it. Hearing this, Sarutobi Hirazan took a sip of the hot tea, a look of confidence flashed across his wrinkled cheeks, I hope Kaido of the Beasts, one of the four emperors, will not disappoint us. After the battle with Drought Jack, Sarutobi Hirazan already has a rough positioning of his own strength. It must have surpassed the emperor's deputy. As for whether it can rival or even surpass the four emperors, it will only be known after the battle. It's finally time to fight. Hoshigaki Kisame grinned and said coldly, no matter how many pirates come from Beast's Pirates, we won't be afraid, we'll be done. We're here waiting for Kaido, the Beast. Ye Lei held a goblet, took a sip of wine, and said leisurely, I really hope to have a hearty battle. Ah, after hearing these words, Zephyr was startled, then laughed dumbly and shook his head. It seemed that he was indeed overreacting, since Luo Lei and others dared to kill one of the three disasters, Drought Jack, they would definitely not be afraid of Kaido of the Beasts, one of the four emperors. It's just, thinking of this, Zephyr looked at Luo Lei, who had been drinking tea calmly. I haven't seen him for three years, and now he has grown to the point where even he has to look up, even if he faces the four emperors directly, he has nothing to fear. It can be said, this vacation trip, Zephyr really felt old. After all, the sea is the world of young people, and he has become somewhat incomprehensible. We continue to rest. At this time, Luo Lei, who had not spoken for a long time, raised the corner of his mouth slightly and said, as long as Kaido, one of the four emperors, the beast, dares to come, it will be done. If Sarutobi Hirazan, Ye Lei, and Hoshigaki Kisame can only use ninja methods, they will definitely not be able to defeat Kaido of the Beasts, or more precisely, may not even break Kaido of the Beasts' defense. After all, the ninjas under six paths are too crispy, equivalent to a top assassin, and the stamina is not good. Even if you can control the water style and control the sea water, the impact of Kaido on Devil Fruit may not be as big as imagined. But, dot now they are an enhanced version of the meat tank super ninja, especially after learning Conqueror's Hockey, Marine Six Styles, and Eating Zone's top-level Devil Fruit without side effects, they are really not afraid of four. One of the beasts of the Emperors, Kaido. As for himself not weak, Hayden needless to say. There is Flying Thunder God technique. Already invincible, certainly. Luo Lei didn't say a word. That is the drought that destroyed one of the three disasters this time. Jack, captured the giant of the underground Dark World, the King of Lone Sharks, Lu Field, but he gained a lot. According to Hoshigaki Kisami's interrogation, Drought Jack was on behalf of Beast's Pirates and negotiated cooperation with the King of Lone Sharks, Lu Feld, so Lu Feld secretly collected Zone's Devil Fruit for Beast's Pirates. Now that Luo Lei has taken over, all the savings of Lu Feld, the King of Lone Sharks, have been raided. Those treasures, how many lottery points can be exchanged? Luo Lei doesn't know either. Therefore, after defeating Kaido, one of the four emperors, Luo Lei will draw a lot of prizes. By the way, neither naval headquarters nor world government has responded. Sarutobi Hirazan picked up the pipe, took a puff, glanced at Zephyr, and asked a question curiously. Have, it's okay not to say. As soon as he said Zephyr's expression, he became a little angry, and said solemnly, the naval headquarters has put the New World branch into a defensive state, never mentioning support, saying that I believe you can handle Kaido of the beasts. Only if you take the initiative to ask for help and say you can't do it, Naval Headquarters will send Naval Headquarters 3 Admiral to provide support. Ha ha, it's all about the outside world, but it's hard to hit the inside. It really deserves to be Naval Headquarters. I, Sarutobi Hirazan let out a puff of white smoke and smiled dismissively. Playing a wishful thinking, don't you know, real man. Can't you just say you can't do it? Ah, after hearing this, Luo Lei's mouth twitched slightly. He glanced at Serutobi Hirazan, and he suddenly wanted to laugh. Doing your own words to the outside world, and attacking with punches at home. Turn out to be, the final joker is not third Hokage, but naval headquarters. Marine's layout is too small. Hoshigaki Kisame shook his head and said meaningfully, Boss Luo Lei, we worked so hard to fight the beast's Kaido, Marine harvested prestige and fame, is it so cheap naval headquarters? Yup, Ye Lei frowned and said, I feel a little aggrieved. 
Relax, Mr. Zephyr has placed a flying thunder god Kanai at Naval Headquarters Marineford. Luo Lei shrugged and said something with a chuckle. Understood. Upon hearing this, Ye Liai, Hoshigaki Kisame, and Ye Liai all understood in seconds, and they looked at each other and smiled invariably. As expected of the boss, already thinking of a countermeasure. I didn't hear, I didn't hear anything, but Zephyr picked up the teacup and took a few sips of hot tea, pretending not to hear. Heart, a storm has been set off. There can only be a moment of silence for the executives of naval headquarters. The next day, early in the morning, unconsciously, some ships appeared around Field Island. If you look closely, you will find that none of these ships are flying flags, and it is not clear which faction belongs to. Obviously, they are all here to watch the fun and gather information. Some people dressed as reporters have taken out the camera phone bug, intending to broadcast the battle scene live. That's right, just live broadcast, after knowing that a war was about to break out on Field Island that would spread across the sea. Several major newspapers, mainly the news of the world, in the pursuit of maximizing profits, chose to unite and broadcast this battle destined to change the pattern of New World to the entire sea. At this time, the whole sea, the different places and islands. There is a live broadcast screen that can only be watched by paying in the core areas. And such incomparable strengths as naval headquarters, world government, whitebeard pirates, red hair pirates, BIGMOM pirates, etc., you can watch directly without paying. 10 minutes, 1 hour, 5 hours, time passed by minute by minute. Field Island, in addition to the traces left by the Sarutobi Hirazan battle against Jack the Dro. There is no movement, Luo Lei, Hoshigaki Kisame and others also did not show up but invisibly made the atmosphere of this sea area become dignified. Why hasn't the Beast's Pirates come yet? It should be almost time, the Beast's Pirates should be here. If the Beast's Pirates don't come, and Luo Lei and others don't show up, will this battle still be fought? If you don't come, it will be dark. Maybe it was a long wait. Many people at the scene were already sweating on their palms, and many people expressed apprehension and doubts. Up to now, Beast's Pirates haven't come yet, Hundred Beasts Kaido won't play tricks on everyone, right? But, not so much. Hundred Beasts Kaido is one of the four emperors after all, if he really dared not appear, he would definitely laugh at him and become a joke in the whole sea. Coming, in vain, a surprised voice sounded. I saw a reporter on one of the merchant ships picked up the camera phone bug and aimed it at the sea in the distance. Come yet, this sentence, like a fuse, countless people, they all involuntarily turned their eyes to the sea in the distance. I saw at the end of the endless sea, where the sea level and the sky were connected, I don't know when, a dark shadow had appeared. As the shadow gradually became larger, it was a large Beast's Pirate's pirate ship. No doubt, Beast's Pirates, here we come. Although there is no scene of swarms in the imagination, but, looking at the pirate ship of the Beast's Pirates, countless people in this sea area, involuntarily held their breath, their eyes did not blink, not even breathing. Joke, this, is the Beast's Pirates of King's Landing Grand Line. Even if only one, are the center of attention. When the Emperor is angry, the sea overturns, the heaven and the earth tremble. Hum, as this Beast's Pirates pirate ship keeps approaching Field Island. Invisible, a terrifying aura, began to spread across this sea. This isn't Conqueror's Hockey, it's the king's breath that comes with beast's pirates, which invisibly overwhelms many people and can't breathe. Soon, with the attention of countless people, the beast's pirate's pirate ship stopped 500 meters away from Field Island. Immediately afterwards, Jin and Quinn, one of the three plagues, appeared on the deck, and some pirates from the beast's pirates also appeared on the deck. How is this possible? Why are there only Jin and Quinn, one of the three plagues? What's going on? The beast Kaido didn't come. If hundred beasts Kaido doesn't come, just relying on Jin and Quinn, I'm afraid they're not here to deliver food, right? Quote quote, looking at Jin and Quinn on the deck. Those watching the game on the scene, as well as countless people watching the live broadcast, all showed shocking expressions. Incredible, beasts pirates run a thousand miles. But only Jin and Quinn, one of the three plagues, came. Kaido, one of the absolute protagonists of the four emperors, did not appear on the pirate ship. What is this for? Are you here to bring warmth to Luo Lei and others? That's right, Jin and Quinn, 
one of the three plagues, are very strong, and they are also famous pirates in the New World. But, Luo Lei, Hoshigaki Kisame, Ye Liai, Hoshigaki Kisame on Field Island are not vegetarians, as can be seen from the death of Jack, one of the three disasters. If the beasts Kaido didn't come, the beasts pirates are afraid that they will be slapped in the face. However, while many people's attention was on Jin and Quinn, I don't know when the sky started to become gloomy and dark clouds began to gather and spread over Field Island. If you look carefully, you can see lightning flashes in the dark clouds. Hum, the next moment, there is no sign of anything. A terrifying aura swept out from the black cloud. Under the watchful eyes of all, a cyan dragon with thunder arcs wrapped around its whole body is like a cloud well, driving the fog, circling back and forth in the dark cloud. The big pirate known as, the strongest creature, Hundred Beasts Kaido, came. And past appearances, Hundred Beasts Kaido is a shocking attack in human form. This time, in front of countless people in the sea, he entered his fish fish fruit, phantom beast, and blue dragon form, and he wanted to come to the real world, telling the entire sea that beasts pirates are inviolable. Who dares to do it? That would have to pay the price in blood. Midair, a cyan dragon is flying in the clouds. This sea, but invisibly fell into a dead silence. No one thought. One of the four emperors, Kaido, didn't show up. As soon as he appeared, he wanted to amplify the rhythm of his moves. He directly transformed into the legendary Qinglong. Some of them, this is the first time I saw the beast's Kaido use his devil fruit. The eyes are already dull. The mind is blank. Terrible. Could this be the terrifying sense of oppression brought about by Kaido, one of the four emperors? Call, looking at boss Kaido in midair. On the deck, Jin and Quinn, one of the three plagues, were expressionless on the surface, but deep down they couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Boss Kaido finally came. They don't have to pretend. It's time for a showdown. Beasts pirates are going to kill Luo Lei and others. Boss Kaido is here. Ha ha, as soon as the blue dragon incarnated by Kaido's boss comes out, who will compete with him. This time, the whole sea will shake, and many people will be wide-eyed. After all, the blue dragon incarnated by Kaido's boss rarely shows up. And all the pirates in the Hundred Beast pirate ship looked at the Qinglong in the air, almost all showed a look of awe, and made an uproar of excitement. Apparently, he was also inspired by the dragon incarnated by the beast Kaido. Guru, it's coming for real. No wonder Kaido of the beasts, the strongest creature, turned out to be able to transform into a blue dragon. On the other side, many people watching the battle in this sea area swallowed their saliva carefully while their hearts were trembling. They did not expect that Kaido of the Beasts, one of the four emperors, would appear in such a terrifying manner. Qinglong, such terrifying creatures, can it be matched by human power? At the same time, when countless people in the sea who spent money to watch the live broadcast looked at the Qinglong on the live broadcast screen, they were all dumbfounded. Originally, everyone was still worried that by Beast Kaido didn't come, and felt that they were at a loss by spending money to watch the live broadcast, but they didn't expect to see by Beast Kaido, one of the four emperors, incarnated as a blue dragon. Deficit, non-existent, the money spent watching the live broadcast is so worth it. As for the five elders of the world government, the marshals of naval headquarters Sengoku, Garp, Aokiji and others, as well as Whitebeard, red-haired Shanks and others, they couldn't help shaking their heads after seeing this scene. They all know that the beast's Kaido is the demon fruit power in the form of fish, fish, phantom beasts and blue dragon. But I didn't expect that this beast, Kaido, would be pretending from the beginning. The dragon is coming. I want to suppress Luo Lei, Yei Ai, Hoshigaki Kisame, Serutobi Hiruzen on Field Island from the very beginning. The meaning of the expression is also very simple. You killed one of the three disasters, Drought Jack, very mad and unscrupulous, but... Lao Tzu, as one of the beasts of the four emperors, Kaido, will be more mad and violent than you. Boom, purple mixed with black thunder and lightning are constantly intertwined. The cyan dragon incarnated by the beast Kaido hovered in midair, and the violent dragon's eyes looked down at Field Island, and said with a bang, kill our beast's pirate's signature drought, Jack, don't you dare to show up. Don't hide, I have locked you. Boom, between words. An extremely violent and imposing pressure enveloped Field Island in an instant. Quite a kind, you won't come out again. 
then I will suppress your taste. Ha ha ha, hundred beasts Kaido, do you think only you can eat devil fruit? The next moment, accompanied by Yayui Ai's irritable voice, crackling, crackling, in the sky originally occupied by the beast Kaido incarnated as a blue dragon, wisps CCFF of blue blue thunder and lightning suddenly appeared, splitting the black cloud at a speed that could not cover the ears, turning a part of the area into thunder and lightning in the blink of an eye. Feel. Swish. A cracking sound rang out. I saw a monster that looked like a saber-toothed tiger, with golden hair, strong limbs and sharp fangs. It seems to be very fast, but every step will emit arc-shaped lightning, extremely majestic. Finally, Rai Gong, the incarnation of Ye Ui. It appeared steadily in the lightning field in midair, and faced off in midair with the blue dragon incarnated by the beast Kaido. And this is just the beginning. Roar. A furious roar sounded. Boom. The hotel in the central area of the island suddenly burst. Immediately afterwards, a giant Donkey Kong with a height of more than 30 meters appeared on the island, smashed his hands on his chest, and screamed in the sky. Clap Lala, clap Lala. The other side, the originally calm sea suddenly erupted with turbulent waves, and a giant megalodon shark with a length of hundreds of meters suddenly emerged from the sea, and suddenly a terrifying energy shock wave broke out. Quiet, a dead silence. Looking at Lei Gong in midair, King Kong on the island, Megalodon on the sea. In an instant, countless people are a little confused. What? What is this about? This zone's top devil fruit cost money. One of the beasts of the four emperors, Kaido, turned into a blue dragon and shocked the audience. What happened? For the giant, Megalodon. Is this the rhythm to be turned upside down? Although I don't know whether these zone devil fruit are mythical beasts or ancient ones. But, are undoubtedly Zone's top devil fruit. All right. Fortunately, no one knows. Night Moon Eye, Hoshigaki Kisame, devil fruit that Sarutobi Hiruzen eats, all have no side effects. Otherwise, will be more crazy and shocking. Because, just because there are no side effects, it is already superior to other devil fruit with side effects, whether it is Logia, Eudemons, or ancient species, etc. Hum, this sea is shaking especially under the invisible pressure of the explosion of the dragon in the incarnation of Kaido, the Thunder Lord in the incarnation of Yeui, the giant Donkey Kong in the incarnation of Serutobi Hiruzen, and the giant shark in the incarnation of Hoshigaki Kisame. Are the countless people watching the game trembling? No way, no one thought, Luo Lei's subordinate Yeui I, Hoshigaki Kisame is also a top demon fruit power, plus a Serutobi Hiruzen who has already been exposed. In an instant, the comprehensive strength shown is simply jaw-dropping, jaw-dropping. Is this a ninja? They're all ninjas who ate Zone's top devil fruit. It's not a good thing, whether it's Lei Gong or the giant Donkey Kong, the aura of the giant Megalodon doesn't seem to be weaker than the boss Kaido. On the pirate ship of the Beast's Pirates, Jin and Quinn, one of the three plagues, and the pirates of Beast's Pirates almost all turned wild. Things have already exceeded their expectations. They thought that facing Luo Lei, Yeui Ai, Hoshigaki Kisame, Serutobi Hiruzen, with the violent strength of beasts pirates, they could easily suppress them, but in reality they hit them hard. Face. Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, the subordinate of Admiral Luo Lei's subordinates, showed more strength than expected. Back up. Speed back, you can't get too close. A big war is inevitable. It's all top-level zone demon fruit power. It may take 10 days and a half months to get people to send supplies. Soon, after the initial shock and disbelief, many spectators at the scene responded quickly and began to retreat the boat they were riding on, lest the immortals fight and the mortals would suffer. What's more, they had already planned to send supplies. Zone's top devil fruit abilities must be very patient. This battle, it definitely won't end in a short time. Certainly, in fact, these are not the heaviest. After seeing Rai Gong in the incarnation of Yazuki Ai, the giant Donkey Kong in the incarnation of Serutobi Hiruzen, and the giant Megalodon in the incarnation of Hoshigaki Kisame. Whether it is Five Elders, Naval Headquarters, or Whitebeard, Red-Haired Shanks, and other big and small pirates, their expressions have become dignified and serious without knowing it. This is the first time that Luo Lei is in front of everyone. Show off your abilities. Almost instantly. And terrified the whole sea. Even if the identity of the ninja is excluded. With the identity of the top zone demon fruit power, it is an extremely powerful force. 
Perhaps the only good news for naval headquarters is that Luo Lei is marine and has not turned his face yet, but, for the big pirates such as Whitebeard, Red-Haired Shanks, etc., they are vaguely disturbed. At this time, over Field Island, Kaido, the beast who turned into a blue dragon, is actually a little confused. Different from others, he almost instantly sensed that Lei Gong in the incarnation of Yeui Ai and the giant Donkey Kong incarnated by Sarutobi Hiruzen were zone mythical beasts, and the giant Megalodon incarnated by Hoshigaki Kisame was extremely rare among fish and fish fruits, of ancient species. In short, not a fuel-efficient light. What makes by Beast Kaido more puzzled and unbelievable is that. Where did Luo Lei find these zone top devil fruit ninjas? Shouldn't these monster level combat power join the beast's pirates, which is more appropriate? If Yeui Ai, Sarutobi Hiruzen, Hoshigaki Kisame can join the beast's pirates, what asterisk 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 whitebeard pirates, red hair pirates, naval headquarters, everything not enough to worry about. Your men are strong, why don't you join the beast's pirates? After an unknown period of time, Kaido was suspended in the sky, looking at Luo Lei who had walked out of the hotel below, and said in a voice like thunder, I, beasts pirates, need zones top devil fruit ability like you, of ninjas. What marine can give, beasts pirates can be doubled, no, super doubled, if you want, the ninjas of Wanokuni can give you. TT, Luo Lei, who had already walked out of the hotel, looked at Kaido, the beast in the sky, and said in a slightly exaggerated tone, I am vice admiral of naval headquarters, substitute admiral. For pirates, Luo Lei has never been interested. Since it's all Vice Admiral of Naval Headquarters, Admiral Substitute, it shouldn't be too much to be the Marine King who doesn't have the world government and celestial dragons. Anyway, his strength has been completely revealed, and he will become stronger and stronger in the future, and he will draw more and more ninjas. Let's do it together. Hearing this sentence, Bai Beast Kaido also knew that it was useless to talk too much. He shook the dragon's head regretfully. The huge dragon's tail shook, and the violent dragon's eyes turned to look at Jin and Quinn, one of the three plagues. The meaning of the expression is very simple, you should also join the war. Good. Swish. A cracking sound rang out. Jin's body, one of the three disasters, appeared on the sea in a flash, and instantly transformed into a toothless pterosaur whose whole body was wrapped in flames. Yes, Boss Kaido. The bald-headed Quinn wearing sunglasses nodded neatly without any hesitation. The fat mass like a ball flew towards Field Island at an unbelievably flexible speed. Boom, at the moment when it is about to fall to Field Island. Quinn also transformed into a huge Brachiosaurus, and fell heavily on the island, causing Field Island to tremble several times. Good come, at the moment when Pterosaurs and Brachiosaurus appeared. The eyes of Hoshigaki Kisame, who incarnated as a Megalodon, and Sarutobi Hiruzen, who incarnated as a giant Donkey Kong, lighted up slightly, and they confronted Jin and Quinn respectively. Midair, Lei Gong, the incarnation of Yeui Ai, also appeared in front of the Beast Kaido incarnation of Qinglong. Obviously, the monster battle is about to break out. Obviously, the monster battle is about to break out. Situation, it became tense in an instant. Countless people watching the battle did not even dare to blink, and looked at the battlefield without squinting, afraid of missing some shocking battle scene. Can you stop me? Seeing that Jin and Quinn were in a state of battle, Qinglong, the beast Kaido incarnated, looked at Ye Ui standing in front of him indifferently, and said proudly, since your boss is unwilling to join, then choose to embrace death. Hum. After this sentence, hundred beasts Kaido no longer suppressed himself, a pair of huge dragon eyes filled with murderous intent, a terrifying momentum swept out, and suppressed Lei Gong, who was Ye Ui's incarnation. He has made up his mind. First suppress the Lei Gong in front of him, and then kill Luo Lei, so that these guys know, Zero San San, that they are powerful and the power of the four emperors is inviolable. Ha ha. After hearing this, Lei Gong, the incarnation of Ye Ui, shook his head disdainfully, and said irritably, Hundred Beasts Kaido, you are talking too much nonsense, let's see the truth. Hot breath. Before he finished speaking, Bai Beast Kaido was no longer talking nonsense. The huge dragon body twisted and took a deep breath. When the dragon head turned, he opened the dragon's mouth and spit out a sound that seemed to destroy the world. Dragon breath. The monstrous dragon breath poured out. With the momentum of destroying the sky and destroying the earth, he bombarded the Lei Gong who was Ye Ui's incarnation. 
Maybe it's too powerful. There were visible cracks in the air. And right in front, facing a mighty attack, Yi Yui's incarnation of Lei Gong had no fear, and when the blue blue lightning flashed all over his body, he also opened his mouth, electromagnetic gun. Swish, the power of blue and lightning keeps gathering. It made this piece of sky tremble faintly. Immediately afterwards, a terrifying electromagnetic cannon blasted out with the momentum of thunder. In an instant, under the attention of countless people, the dragon breath that seemed to destroy the sky and the earth collided with the terrifying electromagnetic cannon formed by a thunder and lightning. Rumbling, with a deafening roar resounded. Two turbulent energy waves collided, and an amazing energy shock wave erupted. Especially in the central area of the collision, there were even visible cracks in the space. For a time, the monstrous flames and dragon breaths splashed all over the sky, and the thunder and lightning electromagnetic guns were madly filled. Even if they are far apart, many people in this sea area can feel the air vibrating slightly. Like the end of the world. Terrifying. The battle has begun. Looking at the beasts Kaido and Yeiliai who were battling, the expressions of those who were watching the battle on the spot or those who watched the battle through the live broadcast became solemn. And the fact is, after hundred beasts Kaido and Yeiliai fought, like a fuse, go to hell. The toothless pterosaur incarnated by Jin moved its wings and attacked the megalodon incarnated by Hoshigaki Kisame floating on the sea. Boom, terrifying fire, under the control of the toothless pterosaur incarnated by Jin. Like an overwhelming storm, it rushed towards the sea. In an instant, the temperature of this sea area rose sharply. No doubt, the toothless pterosaur incarnated by Jin is also coming true. Just the initial attack, the nickname of the fire disaster is vividly expressed, even if it is the sea, no matter what, I can boil it for you. Is there something wrong with the brain? It's a pity that, in the face of the aggressive flame attack, even if the water on the sea surface was boiled, the megalodon incarnated by Hoshigaki Kisame didn't have any fear, but inside he wanted to laugh. Playing with fire in front of a ninja who is good at water style. Do you think you are Uchiha Madara? In the next instant, under Jin's incredible gaze, Hoshigaki Kisame, who had transformed into a giant megalodon shark, opened his incomparably huge shark mouth, chakra surging, he quickly made a mark with his flexible tongue. Aha, as a very serious ninja, a regular ninja, standing with two fingers, thinking what is what, clapping both hands, calling what to come winking face. Even if it is incarnated as a megalodon, Hoshigaki Kisame has to be imprinted. If there is no hands, he will use his tongue according to local conditions. Water style super giant wave. Boom, in an instant. The sea that was already roasted by the flames. It rolled in vain, and directly rolled up a huge wave hundreds of meters high, swept away at the speed of the thunder and the flames shot by Jin. Scoff, scoff. After a few seconds, the sound of flames being quenched by the sea sounded. The white water vapor filled the battle area between Hoshigaki Kisame and Jin as if they didn't need money, and the scene was very shocking. Perhaps Jin's flames are awesome. But, in the face of Hoshigaki Kisame, which has endless sea water to use, there are really some things that are not enough to see. So, under the attention of countless people, Jin controls the massive amount of fire that the toothless pterosaur constantly spews out. They were all drowned out by Hoshigaki Kisame with seawater that was several times as strong as the fire, leaving nothing but white steam. See this scene. The toothless pterosaur incarnated by Jin was really angry and was about to vomit blood. The guy in front of him is eating Zone's top devil fruit. How can he not be affected by the sea water, but can control the sea water in turn? Even ninjas can't play like this. I'm afraid it's not a fake devil fruit to eat. Or ninja eat devil fruit. No side effects. In vain, while Jin was still terrified, a sound of breaking through the air sounded, and only saw an oversized megalodon-shaped water bomb, pierced through the flames, and attacked him. Swish, too late to fight back. Jin flapped his wings for a while, and left without thinking. Boom, at the moment of leaving, the huge megalodon-shaped water bomb exploded suddenly. A terrifying chakra energy shock wave erupted, and countless sea water splashed around like a goddess scattered flowers, scattered over a large area of the sea. Chapter 71 This, how is this possible? It's all demon fruit power, why can Hoshigaki Kisame ignore the sea stone factor in seawater? Not only is he not afraid of seawater, but he can also control seawater through ninjutsu. 
it is simply Jin, one of the three disasters that Tian overcomes. No, it is the demon fruit power that Tian overcomes. As long as this Hoshigaki Kisame is in the sea, it is invincible. Looking at Jin, who was instantly suppressed by the sea. Many people watching the battle on the spot looked a little stunned, and involuntarily made an unbelievable uproar. At the beginning, everyone was paying attention to the battle between Hundred Beasts, Kaido and Yeui, but they didn't pay much attention to Jin and Hoshigaki Kisame. Now that I take a closer look, I was surprised to find that Hoshigaki Kisame, who ate devil fruit, could actually use the water style. Controlling the sea water, oneself can also swim freely in the sea water, thinking about it and terrifying, this is a little scary. After all, a demon fruit power that is immune to sea water and can control it is absolutely the nightmare of any other demon fruit power. Impossible, could it be that ninjas eat devil fruit without side effects? If you can really be immune to the side effects of devil fruit, then the problem will be a little more serious. While the five elders, the senior executives of naval headquarters, Whitebeard, red-haired Shanks, etc., who were watching the live broadcast, looked horrified, all stood up in unison, and their hearts were even more turbulent. Can't calm down at all. Joke. At their level. Of course, I know how inexplicable a top demon fruit power without any weakness is. Now, a demon fruit power immune to sea water appeared in front of everyone. Once the investigation is not clear, the consequences could be severe. At the same time, how could this be? Jin, who was far away from the sea level, looked down at the sea where the huge waves were rising, and the expression under the black mask was very ugly. As one of the three plagues, he has never been so depressed as he is now. In the past, the invincible and invincible flame was like a firefly in front of the sea, without the slightest egg, and was suppressed by the sky. Even more embarrassing, he couldn't get too close to the megalodon incarnated by Hoshigaki Kisame, otherwise, if you are hit by sea water, the consequences will be serious. How to do? Jin is a little confused. For a time, it is neither to fight nor not to fight. Haha, <laughs> what are you running for? But, just at this time, Hoshigaki Kisame withdrew from the form of the giant megalodon, laughed loudly, held Samahata in his hand, stepped on Moonwalk, and stormed towards Jin at a very fast speed. Good. Seeing Hoshigaki Kisame give up his advantage and take the initiative to challenge him, Jin's eyes lit up, he also withdrew from the shape of the toothless pterosaur, pulled out the samurai sword around his waist, and slashed without hesitation. Clang. After a few seconds, accompanied by the sound of metal collision. In midair, Hoshigaki Kisame and Jin slammed into each other, and a terrifying shock wave of energy erupted between Samahata and the samurai sword, which made the air tremble several times. You are strong. Looking closely at the guy in the black mask, Hoshigaki Kisame grinned, showing sharp teeth, and said, you should be a great swordsman, right? I want to see the strength of a great swordsman. Upon hearing this, Jin's eyes moved slightly, he snorted coldly, and his body quickly retreated. When he waved the samurai sword in his hand again, a monstrous sword intent filled the air. That's right, as Hoshigaki Kisame said, in addition to the demon fruit power in the form of dragon dragon fruit, ancient species, and toothless pterosaur, he is also a great swordsman, but he rarely uses swordsmanship. Is this the sword intent of the great swordsman? A look of eagerness appeared in Hoshigaki Kisame's golden pupils. After being summoned by the boss Luo Lei, it was the first time he faced Dejin Hao. As one of the seven ninja swordsmen, he and Samahata in his hand, seems to have some excitement. Slash. The next moment, Jin held the samurai sword in his hand, raised it high above the top, and then suddenly swung it down. Boom. In an instant, a red sword energy ripped apart the air and roared towards Hoshigaki Kisame. Good come. Samahata Katakana middle dot flying chain slash. Hoshigaki Kisame was not afraid at all, and when his mind moved, Strands of armament hockey and chakra were wrapped around Samahata, and then Samahata's hilt suddenly stretched more than 20 meters, and slammed toward the sword energy. Clang! Another crisp voice sounded. Samahata and the red sword energy suddenly collided together, making a roaring sound that shook the sky and the earth, a powerful collision shock wave, and even cracks appeared in the air. Are the weapons longer? Really interesting. Jin smiled coldly, and stopped using his sword energy. With a flash of his body, he appeared in front of Hoshigaki Kisame and slashed directly. Certainly, at the moment of the split, a strand of armament hockey is still wrapped around the samurai sword. 
Ha ha ha, it's you who's waiting. Nian, facing Jin's slash, Hoshigaki Kisame looked happy, and the white bandage that wrapped Samahata instantly burst, revealing Samahata's body covered with barbs, and waved Samahata directly to meet him. Ding, the katana and Samahata collided again, making a metal crashing sound. Ding ding dong dong, seeing that one blow is ineffective. Jin was too lazy to think about it, and without hesitation he launched an attack like a storm, while Hoshigaki Kisame was constantly waving Samahata in his hand, parrying and resisting, seemingly being completely suppressed by Jin. At the beginning, Jin thought he had the absolute upper hand, but the more he fights, the more he finds that his armament hockey consumption is too much, and it becomes less and less. This was a situation he had never encountered before, and, as the battle continued, Hoshigaki Kisame's swordsmanship seemed to keep improving, as if he was practicing swordsmanship with Hoshigaki Kisame. Idiot, don't you feel it? Your armament hockey is being absorbed by his weapon little by little. I don't know if I can't watch it anymore. In midair, some beast Kaido, who had stopped fighting with Yeui, raised its huge dragon head and said angrily, if you absorb armament hockey again, you will be hanged and beaten. What? After hearing this, Jin showed a ray of disbelief. Isn't it right? How can weapons absorb armament hockey? But, Kaido's boss said so, he can't be wrong. Therefore, as Jin quickened his attack rhythm, observation hockey took a good feeling. As a result, I was shocked when I felt it. Every time the weapon collided, the armament hockey on the samurai sword would be swallowed up by Hoshigaki Kisami's weapon. He thought that the armament hockey was naturally consumed, but it was absorbed by other weapons. Haha. <laughs> It's almost there. Seeing that Jin had found out, Hoshigaki Kisame laughed, his mind moved, and armament hockey was entangled again on Samahata, and he immediately started to fight back. Perceiving the armed color on the Samahata sword, Jin's blood pressure rose all of a sudden, because this armament hockey was his own. Boom, there was another sound of weapons colliding. One and the other, Jin, who had always had the upper hand, was directly repelled by the terrifying force that erupted on Samahata by dozens of meters. And this is just the beginning. Water-style Big Bang Water Rush. I saw Hoshigaki Kisame put away the Samahata that was absorbed and felt comfortable, and quickly formed a seal with both hands. During the surging of chakra, the overwhelming seawater spurted out from his mouth, rushing towards ashes in a way that covered the sky and the sun. Quote dot 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 quote. Faced with Hoshigaki Kisami's sudden ninjutsu, Jin's body flashed and he wanted to leave the battlefield. Swish. J. A sound of breaking through the air rang out. I saw a few Hoshigaki Kisame flying from all directions, hugging Jin's tall body directly. Ninja Shadow Clone. Facing Hoshigaki Kisame who suddenly hugged him, Jin's expression became a little urgent, and he simply waved the katana in his hand. Puff. Puff. Several Hoshigaki Kisame shattered, turned into a pool of sea water, and sprinkled on Jin's body. Quote dot 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 quote. Jin felt that his body was suddenly out of control and powerless, and his heart felt as uncomfortable as eating shit. Did you play like this? And it was precisely this moment of loss of control that the huge ellipsoid-shaped water dungeon formed by Hoshigaki Kisame's surf water instantly enveloped Jin. I, at the moment of being imprisoned by the water prison formed by the blast of water, Jin was completely powerless, opened his mouth, and wanted to say something, but he couldn't open his mouth. Lost, he was defeated by Hoshigaki Kisame. Even though he didn't want to admit it, Jin knew very well that he was imprisoned by the sea water and had no power to resist when facing Hoshigaki Kisame, who was like a duck in the water. So, after being imprisoned in a water cell, Jin didn't do fearless resistance right away. If he loses, he loses. He has nothing to say. From the beginning to the end, he was led by Hoshigaki Kisame by the neck. It can only be said that he fought too few ninjas like Hoshigaki Kisame. A lot of boredom. Get it, looking at Jin who is no longer resisting. Hoshigaki Kisame nodded with satisfaction. Although there are some twists and turns in the process, the result is good, Samahata is also comfortable to absorb, and he is also comfortable to play. 1. Jin, one of the three plagues, lost. It only seems to be a few hours. Did Jin lose? Looking at the huge water dungeon in the air, many people watching the battle in this sea area showed surprised expressions. After all, Jin was also one of the three disasters, and it didn't take long to lose, which is too bad, isn't it? 
especially the pirates on the beast pirate ship. Everyone showed a look of horror and disbelief. Lord Jin, the leader of the three disasters, was actually so vulnerable. It really made them have something they didn't expect. It's like rubbish. At this time, the blue dragon incarnated by the beast Kaido scolded extremely violently, and after circling around, he did not look at Jin again, but instead looked at Quinn on Field Island. The last seedling of the three plagues. He has high hopes. Hundred beasts Kaido, Quinn has no chance of winning against Sarutobi Hiruzen. Seeing that Kaido had no intention of fighting yet, Lei Gong, the incarnation of Yeui was not in a hurry, and said meaningfully, Sarutobi Hiruzen's strength is quite terrifying. It doesn't matter. The green dragon incarnated by the beast Kaido showed a look of disdain. He is waiting, if the three disasters are defeated, there will be no scruples, and then he will break out unscrupulously. Ha ha. When Yeui I's incarnation of Lei Gong saw this, he shook his head lightly, and also looked at Field Island, where Quinn's incarnation of Brachiosaurus was confronting the giant Donkey Kong incarnation of Sarutobi Hiruzen. Perhaps because of Jin's defeat, the smell of gunpowder between Quinn and Sarutobi Hiruzen gradually became more intense. Certainly, not just Kaido of the Beasts and Yeui I. In this sea area, many people watching the battle with binoculars, as well as those who watched the battle through live broadcast, all focused on the Brachiosaurus incarnation of Quinn and the giant Donkey Kong incarnation of Sarutobi Hiruzen. Obviously, it is clear that Kaido, the beasts who suddenly stopped, may have to wait for the result of Quinn's battle before starting. It's amazing, Hoshigaki Kisame has perfectly combined ninjutsu and taijutsu. In the central area of Field Island, Zephyr sat on a chair, took a slow sip of hot tea, and said, Hoshigaki Kisame's combat experience is not inferior to that of Jin, one of the three plagues, and the last moisture the body is a stroke of genius. Yes, the corners of Luo Lei's mouth were slightly raised, and he said softly, the most important thing is to control the seawater with water style, Tiong Demon Fruit Power. Indeed, Zephyr put down the teacup and said thoughtfully, after this battle, you may become the focus of attention of the major forces, especially the world government. After all, Hoshigaki Kisame has no side effects after eating devil fruit. Even ninja's water style is very exciting. It doesn't matter. Luo Lei shrugged and said disapprovingly, the soldiers will block the water and cover the soil. Anyway, devil fruit, which has no side effects, is drawn in the system. As for water style, it is absolutely impossible to spread it. At the same time, this, perceiving countless attentions, the Brachiosaurus incarnated by Quinn was also frightened for a while, especially after Jin lost to Hoshigaki Kisame, Quinn wanted to cry even more. What kind of monster is this? Devil Fruit, which has no side effects, can also use water style to control seawater. If the old man named Serutobi Hiruzen in front of him was still eating Devil Fruit with no side effects, and still playing water style, Quinn felt that he didn't have to fight, so he would simply admit defeat. Go on. At this time, seeing Quinn motionless, Kaido of the Beasts, who was transformed into a blue dragon in midair, became impatient and made a sound like thunder. Brachiosaurus Bomb Hearing the order of Lord Kaido, the Brachiosaurus incarnation of Quinn took a deep breath, armament hockey wrapped around his head, and rushed towards the giant Donkey Kong incarnation of Sarutobi Hiruzen at a very fast speed. Earth-style Doryu River See this scene. The giant Donkey Kong incarnated by Sarutobi Hiruzen stretched and stretched his waist. During the surging chakra, his huge arms twisted a few times, forming a seal at a speed invisible to the naked eye. Boom! The next moment, the soil on this piece of ground suddenly surged up, and unexpectedly tripped the sprinting Brachiosaurus forcibly. Boom! A very heavy voice sounded. The Brachiosaurus incarnated by Quinn fell heavily to the ground. What kind of ninjutsu is this? Sensing the unruly movement of the earth under his feet, Quinn's giant Brachiosaurus gritted his teeth and stood up abruptly, wanting to continue his attack on Sarutobi Hiruzen. However, he saw a scene that Quinn will never forget for a lifetime. Good Jiao, Fire Style Great Fireball Technique. Fire Style How Long Fire Technique. Fire Style Hoyan Technique. Fire Style Dragon Bullets. Fire Style Fire Dragon Fire Bullet. Fire Style Fengxiangwo Technique. Go. I saw Sarutobi Hiruzen transformed into a giant Donkey Kong. It seems to have entered a state of rage, chakra surged frantically, 
his hands quickly formed seals, and he performed fire-style ninjutsu one by one. For a time, various terrifying flames swarmed towards the huge Brachiosaurus incarnated by Quinn. For a time, all kinds of flames swarmed towards the huge Brachiosaurus incarnation of Quinn. Boom, one after another deafening explosion sounded. With the attention of countless people, the huge Brachiosaurus incarnated by Quinn was instantly covered and swallowed by endless flames. In an instant, an incomparably hot heat also swept away with Kui Wei at the center, and the endless terrifying flames seemed to burn the dark clouds in the sky to blood red, and everywhere it went, it made a sizzling sound, and it was accompanied by a terrifying flame. The air made a burning sound, and even if it was far away, a heat wave could be felt. It's useless, your ninjutsu can't hurt me at all. Boom, in the face of so many fire-style ninjutsu attacks, Quinn, who was covered and devoured by the flames, trembled for a moment, sending out a terrifying shock wave, and immediately walked straight out of the flames step by step. As a zone dragon dragon fruit ancient species Brachiosaurus, he has a strong recovery ability and extremely tenacious vitality, and his defense is also extremely high. Therefore, to defend against these seemingly terrifying fire-style ninjutsu. Isn't it a simple matter? Yes, seeing this, the giant Donkey Kong incarnated by Sarutobi Hiruzen did not show any unexpected expression, but smiled slightly contemptuously, and said, Quinn, do you know what a ninjutsu professor is? Um, after hearing this, the Brachiosaurus incarnation of Quinn frowned, and there was a vague foreboding in his heart. I'll tell you now, swish, the next moment, under Quinn's jaw-dropping gaze, the giant Donkey Kong incarnated by Sarutobi Hiruzen showed heart-pounding chakra fluctuations all over his body, and his huge arms were like afterimages, obviously starting to seal again. Not good. Black light fire. See this scene. The Brachiosaurus incarnation of Quinn stretched out its long neck and roared, ready to attack. Pity. Already some late. Sarutobi Hiruzen of 3rd Hokage was so terrifying when he was at his peak especially after his physical fitness was multiplied, it was even more pervert, not to mention the speed of CCFF Yuyin. Certainly, there are some slight differences in the ninjutsu cast this time. That is Sarutobi Hiruzen not only used chakra, but also used armament hockey. Armed color lightning style thunder. Armed color katakana middle dot earth style katakana middle dot earth dragon bullet. Armed color katakana middle dot earth style katakana middle dot toriu river. Armed color katakana middle dot wind style katakana middle dot cyclone. Armed color katakana middle dot fire style katakana middle dot dragon ball. Armed color katakana middle dot water style katakana middle dot water dragon bomb. Armed color katakana middle dot fire style big flame bullet technique. Armed color katakana middle dot wind style katakana middle dot great breakthrough. Boom. Almost in the blink of an eye. The wind and fire are mixed mixed with countless earth style, lightning style, water style technique, like a gust of wind and rain, the Brachiosaurus of Quinn's incarnation is charged away. If the fire style just now is just a warm-up, then Sarutobi Hiruzen is obviously coming to the real style. Combined with armament hockey, he has expressed his title of ninjutsu professor vividly. Shocking, absolutely stunning, watching the giant Donkey Kong incarnated by Sarutobi Hiruzen, he easily played ninjutsu with different attributes. For a time, the audience was shocked. Quinn, who was about to attack, was stunned, and the countless people watching the battle in this sea area were also a little dull, even the beast Kaido in midair showed a look of surprise. What, is this still a ninja? Is it because ninjutsu doesn't need money? So many ninjutsu mixed with armament hockey in one brain is too unethical. In the next instant, perhaps because of the reaction, Quinn's Brachiosaurus eyeballs almost popped out of their sockets, and without any hesitation, he ran away. He's not a fool. This time ninjutsu is mixed with water style, if it is sea water, he will be finished. By this time, he also knew what Serutobi Hiruzen meant by, professor of ninjutsu. It turned out to be a lot of ninjutsu by the grandmaster. Want to run, shadow clone technique. Puff, puff. With a few bursts of air. I saw four shadow clones of giant Donkey Kong, like a flexible fat man, and instantly surrounded Quinn's Brachiosaurus in the middle. We, seeing Quinn who wanted to run but couldn't, Sarutobi Hiruzen's giant Donkey Kong, together with his shadow clone, couldn't help grinning, and then began to swipe together again. Crazy. 
Really crazy. Facing the five giant Donkey Kong who are forming seals. The Brachiosaurus incarnated by Quinn was really about to cry. The huge body trembled for a while, and there was only one thought in my heart, that is the boss of Kaido, I want to go home, the old man in front of me, not only does not talk about martial arts, but also special. Why are you bullying people with your ninjutsu skills? Hum, it is such a hesitation. Ninjutsu of various attributes bombarded the Brachiosaurus who was incarnated by Quinn, and it burst apart. Boom, boom, a deafening roar resounded, the air burst instantly, and energy shock waves of different attributes erupted, causing the field island to be shaken by countless visible cracks. Scalp tingling, facing the scene where Serutobi Hiruzen almost crushed with ninjutsu. This sea area became silent again, and countless people couldn't help gasping for air while watching this scene, showing a look of astonishment. Even Zephyr, who was drinking tea, spit out the tea in surprise. A giant Donkey Kong, divided into several clones, performed countless armed ninjutsu, and simply and neatly suppressed the Brachiosaurus incarnated by Quinn. This, what a shock this is. What a frenzy. What? After a while. The Brachiosaurus incarnated by Quinn let out an extremely painful scream in the explosion of ninjutsu. I surrender. I surrender. At last. It seems that I can't stand it anymore. Quinn, who was bombarded by countless armed ninjutsu, made a terrifying voice. Call. After hearing this, the giant Donkey Kong incarnated by Serutobi Hiruzen smiled very humanely, and he was relieved in the depths of his heart. Don't look at him performing so many dazzling ninjutsu, and pretending to be very strong, but. Chakra and armament hockey's consumption is massive every moment. Fortunately, his strength is at its peak, and his physical fitness also pervert, otherwise, I really can't hold on to it. Losing, losing again. After Jin, the first of the three plagues, conceded defeat, Quinn, one of the three plagues, also lost, plus the dead Jack the Dro, the three big signs of beasts pirates, almost completely annihilated. I really didn't expect that ninjas would be so pervert, that dazzling armed ninjutsu, just thinking about it makes one's scalp tingle. At the moment when Quinn conceded defeat. In this sea area, many people who watched the battle with binoculars had shocked expressions on their faces, and there was a bit of disbelief in their eyes. That's right. After Jack the Dro, one of the three plagues, was killed by Serutobi Hiruzen. Everyone knows that Serutobi Hiruzen is very strong, but, after seeing the means of Serutobi Hiruzen with my own eyes, I can't help but be shocked. The ninja is really too pervert, especially this ninja also ate the orangutan fruit. The top devil fruit in the form of a beast and King Kong. On the deck of the beast's pirates, many beast's pirates pirates stared blankly at Field Island, and they still haven't recovered. Obviously, they have suffered a serious mental blow. After all, usually aloof, overbearing three big signs. A pirate who is a beast's pirates can't accept it if one dies and two lose. Certainly, even if it is unacceptable. These pirates of the beast's pirates have not lost hope. Because, the boss of the beast's pirates, Kaido of the beasts has not officially shot, which means that the beast's pirates have not lost, and there is still a chance to turn defeat into victory. At this moment, in fact, it is not just the pirates of Beast's Pirates. On the sea, many people watching the live broadcast suppressed their inner vibrations and focused their attention on Kaido, the Beast. The three disasters were completely defeated. But, Kaido of the Beasts, one of the four emperors, was not defeated. On Field Island, as Serutobi Hiruzen stopped attacking, all kinds of dazzling ninjutsu stopped abruptly. In the core area that was attacked, a huge pit with a depth of tens of meters appeared. Deep in the crater, it is Quinn, one of the three plagues. Awful, very miserable. I saw that Quinn's fat body had already burst open, soaked in the water, and the whole body was a blur of blood. Anyway, it was as miserable as it was. Cough, cough. At this moment, sensing that Serutobi Hiruzen was no longer attacking, Quinn's face beyond recognition showed a bitter color, coughed a few times involuntarily, and spat out mouthfuls of blood. Tired. It's really frustrating. As a transformed person, many weapons in his body are still useless. For example, the machine gun in the mouth, the neck, tail and hair can be elongated to generate various mechanical weapons, and the mouth can grow mechanical fangs. The results of it, when I met Serutobi Hiruzen, an opponent who played unreasonably. Crushed from start to finish. Even thinking about those dazzling armed ninjutsus now, 
Quinn is still afraid for a while, and what's even more irritating is that he even used water style to shoot seawater. Two rubbish things. But, just at this time, in midair, a ray of anger flashed in the huge dragon eyes of Kaido, the beast who had been silent for a long time. After circling for a few seconds, a violent and violent aura erupted, and the energy of the whole body began to surge. Hundred beasts, Kaido is about to strike again. It seems that Kaido, one of the four emperors, is really angry. Perceiving the breath of the wild beasts Kaido erupted in vain, countless people watching the battle finally reacted, and their faces were horrified. After admitting defeat, one of the four emperors, Kaido, finally couldn't help but take another shot. Once this time, one of the beasts of the four emperors, Kaido, will definitely be on fire. After all, with so many people watching, the three big signboards of beasts pirates are being flipped one after another, even the boss can't bear it. The fact is also true. Boom, the next moment, a majestic momentum that seemed to suppress everything directly enveloped the entire field island. King to the sea, heaven and earth to surrender. This is the conqueror's hockey of Kaido, one of the four emperors, Kaido. Hum, with the outbreak of conqueror's hockey, the air began to burst, as if the entire field island would be torn apart, which was terrifying. Unfortunately, facing such a terrifying conqueror's hockey, neither Luo Lei nor Serutobi Hirazan made any movement, nor did they use their conqueror's hockey. They just looked at the beasts in midair, the Qinglong incarnated by Kaido, the taste of the breeze blowing the hills. Hundred beasts Kaido, do you think it's useful? At this time, Lei Gong, the incarnation of Yeui Ai, said dismissively, everyone is a top-level powerhouse, and the influence of Conqueror's hockey is minimal. Swish. The voice did not fall. A light flashed away. Ye Ui landed on the already crumbling field island from midair, withdrew from the Thunder Lord form, stretched out his right hand, and made a hook at the beast Kaido, let's have a match between men, battle between. After hearing this, the green dragon incarnated by the beast Kaido stared at Yei Ui below, and was silent for a long time before his mind moved. Conqueror's hockey retreated as much as possible, and then his body returned to his human form. Katakana middle dot I faces each other across the air. Since you want to die, then I will fulfill you. The next moment, the expressionless beast Kaido took hold of the mace behind him, and with a light stroke, the head of the club slammed on the ground, causing the ground under his feet to shatter like a spider web. In general, he doesn't carry any weapons. This time, I brought it with me for a rainy day, but now it seems that I have used it. Hum, without any sign, Hundred Beasts Kaido was bathed in armament hockey, and the mace in his hand was constantly intertwined with thunder. Obviously, this was caused by armament hockey being too powerful. Bang, 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 next moment, I glanced at Yei Ui. Hundred Beasts Kaido took the mace and walked towards Yei Ui step by step. Crack, crack, perhaps the power is too terrifying, every step, there will be cracks on the ground that ignore it like a spider web, and more importantly, as the beast Kaido gets closer and closer to Yei Ui, the momentum on his body becomes more and more manic, and majestic. Pretend, don't pick a target, dare to pretend in front of Lao Tzu. Don't you want to fight a battle between men? If you have the ability, don't hide, see Lao Tzu teach you how to be a man with a mace. Are you coming for real? Just looking at it is a little suffocating. This, could this be the feeling of terrifying oppression from the four emperors? Noodle, looking at this scene, both the people on the scene and the people watching the live broadcast subconsciously swallowed, feeling a little suffocated. Hundred beasts Kaido singled out Yei Ui, can Yei Ui hold on? After all, is this Kaido, one of the four emperor's beasts? For a time, even the five elders, the senior executives of naval headquarters, Whitebeard, red-haired Shanks and others shook their heads involuntarily. How terrifying a beast Kaido is with a mace, they all know that Yei Ui, even a top-level phantom beast's demon fruit power, may not be able to withstand it. I haven't been so nervous in a long time. Zephyr had stood up from his chair, and said with a lingering fear, when Kaido is serious, it means that he is going to be completely angry. I just want him to be completely angry, it's better to lose his mind. Luo Lei sat on the chair and said meaningfully, Kaido of the beast's armament hockey and conqueror's hockey are stronger than Yei Ui, but, it's not necessarily a win. Yes, Zephyr took a deep breath and didn't think too much about it. Instead, 
he said, this time on vacation, I have seen so many top-level battles. I don't lose. Look at it. Luo Lei's deep eyes also showed a look of anticipation. Fourth rakage, it's time to show your own ninjutsu. Ha ha ha, well, it's really good. Ye Liai looked at Kaido, the beast walking towards him, and couldn't help laughing, his cheeks filled with a strong fighting spirit. Crackle crackle, crackle crackle. Accompanied by the terrifying lightning style chakra, Ye Liai instantly entered the lightning style chakra mode, and then, wisps of armament hockey diffused out and wrapped around her body. Perhaps Ye Liai's aura was too strong. The air also burst, and before walking, there were also cracks on the ground. Um, looking at Yezuki Ai who is bathed in thunder and armament hockey. Hundred beasts Kaido frowned inadvertently, but, soon stretched out, and a surging fighting intent flashed in his eyes. He, is the beast Kaido. No matter how strong the enemy is, even if the enemy is a ninja who has never fought before, he will continue to fight. Thunder 8 trigrams, hell stab 1 stop. Soon, almost at the same time, hundred beasts Kaido and Yei I both looked at each other, neither of them had any fear or fear in their eyes, some only had endless fighting intent. Shish, two afterimages disappeared in a flash. Under the trembling gazes of countless people, hundred beasts Kaido and Yei I suddenly rushed towards each other. Two afterimages disappeared in a flash. Under the trembling gazes of countless people, Hundred beasts Kaido and Yei I suddenly rushed towards each other. The next moment, I saw the beasts Kaido showed a cruel smile. He just likes this kind of stunned youth, and he is just facing the front with the mace, isn't he courting death? Then, hundred beasts Kaido took the lead in picking up the mace in his hand, and slammed out the hammer towards Yei I. Boom, the hammer has not yet fallen. Just waved, the air burst. The terrifying power seemed to shatter the entire island. The other side, Ye Lei is not idle either. Gather a lot of Raiden and Armament Hockey into one finger. That mighty power has just overflowed. It caused a visible distortion in the air. 037. In the end, Kaido's mace and Ye Lei's finger collided suddenly. In an instant, time and space seem to stand still. It seems that a second has passed, and it seems that a long time has passed. Rumbling, a deafening roar resounded. In the interweaving of armament hockey and thunder and lightning, a terrifying shock wave of energy erupted. With Yeui, Iron Beasts, Kaido as the center, the air burst and the earth burst apart, of cracking. The endless seawater began to pour frantically along the cracks on the island. Fear, absolute horror, and in the most central battle area. Hundred Beasts Kaido's mace and Yeui Ai's finger still collided, and a jet black thunderbolt and lightning style chakra were crazily intertwined. Block the beast Kaido's attack. No. Dot you read it right. Looks like a finger is blocking Kaido's mace. See this scene. The eyes and pupils of the countless people watching the battle in this sea area shrank, revealing a look of astonishment. Obviously, they did not expect Yeui I to go head to head with Kaido of the beasts and not fall behind. This scene also fell into the eyes of the five elders, Marines executives, Whitebeard and others who were watching the live broadcast, almost all showing a hint of shock. They foresee many possibilities. I just didn't expect Yeui I to fight with one finger, is this too confident? Incredible, how bold is this man named Yeui I? How is this possible? On the island, Hundred Beasts Kaido also showed a hint of surprise. He was wrapped around the top armament hockey, and with his strength, the thunderous eight trigrams played, was actually caught with one finger. This guy in front of me. Even if you eat the top zone, devil fruit, you can't resist it so easily, right? Wait a minute, he seems to have the power of ninjas wrapped around him, chakra. The next moment, beast Kaido frowned, as if thinking of something, and carefully sensed Yeui who entered lightning style chakra mode. Result, it's fine if you don't feel it carefully. As soon as he felt it carefully, all the beasts and Kaido were taken aback. In this Yeui Ai's body, under the stimulation of lightning style chakra, the activity of the whole body cells has greatly increased. With the power of armament hockey, thunder and lightning, and the magical beast devil fruit, unconsciously, Yeui Ai's defense also to an ultimate. It really hasn't been this cool in a long time. Yeui Ai's lightning style chakra is constantly surging, and there is a slight arc at the corner of his mouth. And in this arc, but it made by Beast Kaido's complexion suddenly change. One of a kind, 
In an instant, without any warning, a more powerful force emerged from Ye Liai's finger, slamming the mace ruthlessly. Crack, crack, a piercing crack sounded, hundred beasts Kaido's finger mace, with the finger attack point as the center, there are wisps of cracks. At last, exploded in vain, and the power of the explosion was too great, causing the beast Kaido to take a step back subconsciously. What an astonishing attack power! After a few seconds, looking at the shattered maze, by beast Kaido's expression finally became solemn, and the look in his eyes changed from surprise to disbelief. Is acceptable, Ye Liai sees the state, but he nodded with satisfaction. Known as the strongest spear that can pierce through all things, hell stab one hand, it works well. Your body is strong, Kaido stared at Ye Liai and said in a deep voice. You're in good shape. Ye Liai retracted a finger and said with a chuckle, my armament hockey and conqueror's hockey are not as strong as yours, but I can make up for these gaps by means of a ninja. Felt it. Hundred beasts Kaido grinned, too lazy to say anything, come again. Boom, this sentence has just fallen. Hundred beasts Kaido stepped out, clenched his fists, and bombarded Ye Liai with terrifying power. It is good, Ye Liai didn't mean to step back either, just punched him. Boom, another roar resounded, the two fists collided suddenly, the air burst, and the shock wave of terrifying power rolled up the terrifying air wave visible to the naked eye, surging out in all directions. And this is just the beginning, after an unsuccessful punch. Hundred beasts Kaido and Ye Liai seemed to have completely entered the fighting state, and they punched each other with punches, without any gorgeous moves, just madly banging each other again and again. Boom, boom, the roars continued to resound. Not only the islands, but even the sea was affected, and the waves began to become rough. As for the countless people watching the battle in this sea area. After the initial shock, unbelievable, there was already some numbness. What else can I say? Monster. Both guys on the island are monsters. When a normal person is punched, some of them may not be able to stand it. After two punches, they will die. The result is good. Ye Liai and Hundred Beast Katakana Middle. Kaido, like two tireless war monsters, madly fighting each other, if you punch me, I will punch you, and don't dodge, it looks very cool, but some waste ears. Because, every time a bang, there will be a bursting sound that makes the eardrum buzz. Even if far apart, it can make the ears uncomfortable. One minute, ten minutes, three hours, five hours. Time is passing little by little, the almost frenzied battle on the island continues. The roars continued to sound. Facing this scene, many people watching the battle in this sea area, as well as those who watched the battle through the live broadcast, were already vaguely numb, and even more yawned. How long will it take? Who knows, no matter by Beast Kaido or Ye Liai, they are all top-level phantom beasts with demon fruit power and strong staying power. What should I do if I fight for 10 days and a half months? Finally, some of the people watching the battle seemed to be unable to bear it anymore, and showed a dull expression, even if the battle on the island still exploded, as if it was going to destroy the world, but. After watching it for a long time, there are some thoughts. Vomited. Boss Kaido, come on. The pirates on the hundred beast pirates were all staring at the battle on the island. After all, Boss Kaido is the only hope for the beast's pirates right now. If you lose, the consequences will be unimaginable. At the same time, Kaido of the beasts has lost. One night Moon I dragged by beast Kaido down, Luo Lei's men are too pervert. It looks like you need to prepare well, the sea is about to set off a stormy wave, and the pattern of new world has changed. From the current situation, the outcome is already decided, Kaido of the beasts has lost. And the five elders, the senior officers of naval headquarters, Whitebeard, red-haired Shanks, and the forces of all sizes on the sea who were watching the battle through the live broadcast, unconsciously, their expressions became extremely solemn. Say something bad, after the beast's pirates shot Luo Lei and others. No one could have imagined such a result. The ninjas under Luo Lei were all too strong. If they hadn't used ninjutsu, they would all want to ask questions that touched their souls. This is a ninja. But, whatever, from the time when hundred beasts and Kaido could not quickly solve Yeui and I. Beasts Pirates has already been defeated, didn't you see that Yeui I, Sarutobi Hirazan, Hoshigaki Kisami's boss Luo Lei didn't make a move. Boom, has changed beyond recognition, 
on a similar island eroded by sea water. Once again, there was a roaring sound, and I saw hundred beasts Kaido and Yeiui fist to fist, and they touched each other again, and a terrifying energy shock wave erupted. Katakana middle dot I, but her body didn't move. Woo, can't beat it for a long time. Hundred beasts Kaido didn't know if he was in a hurry, he involuntarily made a sound that was half a smile but not a smile, and there was a heart-pounding madness in his eyes. If you look carefully, you will find that by beast Kaido seems to have lost his mind. Whoosh, another cracking sound, hundred beasts Kaido did not have any fatigue and fear, just like a lunatic, distanced himself from Yeui. Roar, immediately after, a roar sounded, beasts Kaido once again transformed into a blue dragon. Crackling, countless black clouds mixed with thunder and lightning gathered in midair. As for the cyan dragon incarnated by the beast Kaido, in addition to violence, there were strands of extreme madness in his eyes. No way. Hit now, especially after being dragged by Yeui for so long. Beasts Kaido already knew that he lost, no, it was the beasts pirates who lost. After today, he could imagine, how taunted and disdainful the beasts pirates will be. In this case, then go completely crazy and destroy everything. Boom, the next moment, beast Kaido opened the dragon's mouth, a terrifying force intertwined wildly in the dragon's mouth. Wait a minute, why is Kaido's dragon mouth facing us? No way, what does he want to do? Back, back, Kaido's boss is going to go crazy, and even kill himself. Originally, seeing by beast Kaido transforming into a blue dragon, many people watching the battle suddenly became interested, but they were terrified to find that by beast Kaido seemed to be attacked indiscriminately. Especially after seeing that even the pirate ship of beast's pirates is retreating frantically. In this area of the sea, Countless people watching the battle finally came to their senses, and they fled wildly in the distance on the boat with a look of horror, and their hearts were constantly cursing their mothers. Dragon Breath Hundred Beasts Kaido doesn't care so much, since he has decided to destroy everything, he doesn't plan to restrain himself. It's now, but, just at this time, Luo Lei, who had been evacuated far away due to the destruction of the island, looked happy and said in a low voice, Mr. Zephyr, pour me a cup of hot tea, I will bring Kaido back to naval headquarters and let Marine decide. Quote. He waited so long, just waiting for Kaido of the Beasts to go crazy. Because, at this time, Kaido of the Beasts' attack power may be very strong, but the reaction power will be much slower. What? Puff. On deck. Zephyr, who was drinking tea. As if thinking of something, he spit out the tea from his mouth, just when he was about to say something, he found that Luo Lei had disappeared. That can I, I seem to have randomly inserted it in the square in front of the fortress. No way, the next moment, the corner of Zephyr's mouth twitched slightly, he didn't even think about it, he held the teapot and drank, he wanted to calm down. Swish, it's like moving a in an instant. Luo Lei appeared behind the beast Kaido. If you look closely, you will find that Yeui had left the Flying Thunder God spell on by Beast Kaido when Yeui fought for a long time. Immediately after, under countless unbelievable gazes, the Beast Kaido, who was planning to attack, was mounted by Luo Lei and suddenly disappeared in the air. Naval Headquarters Marineford, a huge and mighty fortress stands there. Front of the fortress, there are two words, Marine, engraved on it. In the center is the marine logo, which is a seagull. Now, the whole naval headquarters is very calm. Marines executives were also watching the live broadcast while eating snacks and drinking tea in the conference room. Everything was so timid. Laugh, without any sign, the blue dragon incarnated by the beast Kaido appeared on the huge square in front of naval headquarters. The other side, inside a conference room at the top of the fortress. Marines Marshal Sengoku, the three Admiral Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, and the Crane Staff, Garp were all assembled. At this moment, looking at the live broadcast in the middle of the conference room, in addition to the heartless Garp still eating snacks leisurely, the expressions of staff such as Sengoku, Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, and Crane became extremely solemn. 1. Facing the powerful attack of Kaido, one of the beasts of the four emperors. Luo Lei's subordinate, not only resisted perfectly, also suppressed Jin and Quinn, one of the three plagues. Even Yeui fought back and forth with hundred beasts and Kaido, and he never lost his way. Originally, according to the thoughts of Sengoku and others, 
the Hundred Beasts Kaido, one of the four emperors, attacked with full force, and at least would lose both with Luo Lei and the others, but the result was that the Hundred Beasts Kaido even had Yeui Ai. If nothing can be done, it means that the Beasts Kaido has been defeated. It's unbelievable, where did Luo Lei recruit these monster level combat powers? Marine Marshal Sengoku took a deep breath and said in a deep voice, judging from the abilities shown so far, Hoshigaki Kisame, Yeui Ai, Serutobi Hiruzen, seems to have a combat power comparable to the Four Emperor's class. Yeah, too strong. Aokiji put his hands on the table, took a sip of tea, showed a serious expression, and sighed, ninjas are too pervert, whether it's Hoshigaki Kisame, Yeui Ai, Serutobi Hiruzen is not a fuel-efficient lamp. Well, that's scary. Kazaru curled his lips, revealing a wretched and serious expression, if Luo Lei Vice Admiral's strength is not weak, then the high-end combat power of the New World G1 branch is no less than our naval headquarters. That arrogant guy still has some strength, and the ninjas under him are even more powerful, and he actually resisted the attack of the beast Kaido. Although he was a little unhappy in his heart, Akainu showed a smile on his gloomy face, and said meaningfully, we naval headquarters, just need to watch the play and enjoy the fruits of victory. It's hard to do. After hearing the words of three admiral, Marshal Sengoku shook his head helplessly and bitterly. Before, Sengoku thinks that he can control everything, and he has no choice. Even if Luo Lei was promoted to naval headquarters vice admiral, the substitute admiral, the branch head of the G1 branch, he was thinking of using Luo Lei as a gun of the naval headquarters, going to the new world to contain the four emperors and reducing the naval headquarters. Pressure. The result is good. The power of the gun seemed to be too great for him to control with confidence. Next, facing Luo Lei, whose tail is too big and cannot be promoted, naval headquarters will be in a dilemma. As for why it can't be promoted, on the one hand, it is because the world government will not agree to Marine's promotion of the fourth admiral lest Marine's overall strength is too strong and difficult to control, on the other hand, Luo Lei is too difficult to control, and if he is really promoted to Marine Admiral, I am afraid it is not him. The Marshal couldn't hold back. Ah, Staff Officer Crane, who was drinking tea, sighed, and subconsciously glanced at the live broadcast screen again, blinked his eyes, and said in surprise, what's going on? The dragon incarnated by Kaido, the beast, disappeared from the live broadcast screen. What? Boom. The next moment, before Marshal Sengoku, Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, and Garp didn't respond. A terrifying conqueror's hockey erupted at naval headquarters. Quiet. The entire conference room fell into silence for a while. Marshal Sengoku, Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, Garp, and Staff Crane looked at the empty live broadcast, and a thought flashed in their minds. How so? Naval headquarters to be turned upside down. Walk, it's too late to think about it. In the next instant, Sengoku clenched his fists and roared with an ugly face, it's really too presumptuous, the green dragon incarnated by Kaido was transferred to naval headquarters by Luo Lei. Boom, the voice did not fall. Marshal Sengoku rushed out in a hurry, and in order to hurry, even the gate was smashed. It's a big deal. Walk, what exactly does Luo Lei want to do? If one is not handled well, Naval headquarters will lose a lot. Ha, huh, swa, a sound of breaking through the air rang out. Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, Staff Crane, and even Garp, who was eating snacks, all flew out. At the same time, after transferring the beast Kaido to naval headquarters, Luo Lei didn't stay any longer, and left with the flying thunder god technique in the blink of an eye, leaving only the beast Kaido, who was completely crazy and bursting out of conqueror's hockey. How did I get to naval headquarters? On the square. Despite the frenzied outbursts, Beast's Kaido actually has some circles in his heart. He only felt a chakra enveloped him just now, and before he had time to resist, he was transferred to naval headquarters in the blink of an eye. Totally crazy. But, in just a few seconds, Hundred Beast's Kaido's huge dragon eyes are covered with wisps of violence and madness. Marine. Marine all be fooled. I have been wronged and debtors, it is better to come to naval headquarters, I can't defeat Yeui Ai, my subordinates were suppressed by Hoshigaki Kisame, Serutobi Hiruzen, I was even attacked by Luo Lei, move to naval headquarters, then destroy naval headquarters, shouldn't it be too much? How is this possible? Conqueror's hockey, how did Kaido come to naval headquarters? Quick, 
Get out of here. At this time, the entire naval headquarters was shocked when he felt the raging conqueror's hockey on Kaido's body, and many marines were still watching the wonderful live broadcast for the strength of Hoshigaki Kisame, Serutobi Hiruzen and Yeui Feeling shocked. Did not expect. The blue dragon that Kaido of the Beasts incarnated appeared in naval headquarters as if teleporting. It's really terrifying. Hundred Beasts Kaido, this is naval headquarters, you can't let you go wild. There were also some marine generals who did not evacuate, looking at Hundred Beasts Kaido in the square in horror, and roared in fear. Quote dot dot dot. The blue dragon incarnated by Kaido snorted coldly, but instead became more and more violent, opened the dragon's mouth directly, and sprayed the long brute heat towards Marine's headquarters fortress. Hum. The monstrous dragon breath burst out with terrifying heat. Just appeared. The air was already bursting, and the entire naval headquarters was trembling slightly. Seeing this scene, the countless marines who had not had time to evacuate, almost all turned pale with fright, their bodies softened unconsciously, and they collapsed on the ground. No way to towel. It's really that Kaido of the Beasts came so suddenly that it was too late to leave. Enough. And just at the crunch time, a cold shout sounded, and a golden giant, like a world-shattering Buddha statue, blocked in front of the fortress of the headquarters and slammed it out. Enough. And just at the crunch time, a cold shout sounded, and a golden giant, like a world-shattering Buddha statue, blocked in front of the fortress of the headquarters and slammed it out. Boom. A dull voice sounded. I saw that Sengoku's fist wrapped around armament hockey burst out with a ray of light visible to the naked eye, sending out a terrifying shock wave of energy, which slammed towards the monstrous heat at a speed that could not be concealed by the ears. Rumbling. With a piercing explosion. The hot dragon's breath and the shock wave suddenly collided, and a collision shock wave erupted that made the space tremble. Immediately, and at an extremely fast speed, it spread to the entire naval headquarters, forcibly shaking the entire naval headquarters for several times. Sengoku. Marshal Sengoku shot. The naval headquarters was saved, and so were we. Great. Marshal Sengoku has appeared. Looking at the giant Buddha that appeared in vain, many marines, who were already frightened and paralyzed, were like drowning people, grabbing the life-saving straw. There are also some marine generals. Some civilians at naval headquarters Marineford have been organized to evacuate. After all, it is not the first time that the beast's Kaido has invaded naval headquarters. This time, he just suddenly appeared in the square of the headquarters and caught naval headquarters by surprise. Therefore, many marine generals have returned after the initial shock. God comes. Beasts, Kaido, do you know what you are doing? At this moment, the giant Buddha incarnated by Sengoku suppressed the anger in his heart and said coldly, This is naval headquarters Marineford, not the place where you go wild. Seeing the golden giant Buddha appearing, the blue dragon incarnated by Kaido paused for a moment, his violent aura subsided slightly, and said, Sengoku, I didn't expect you to appear. If I don't show up again, you will destroy naval headquarters. After hearing this, Sengoku has the urge to vomit blood. Naval headquarters was originally watching a play, but now, he was forced to join the war. This Luo Lei, when dealing with beasts pirates, counted naval headquarters, really not a good thing. I don't want to fight anymore. Just throw the hot potato, the beast Kaido, to naval headquarters. Do you do anything like this? Naval headquarters can't stand the toss either. Yes. Hundred Beasts Kaido grinned in disapproval and said coldly, I was transferred here by your Marines Vice Admiral Luo Lei. I was suffocated in New World, beaten in the face, and I have to get it back at Naval Headquarters. When it comes to this, Hundred Beasts Kaido's long eyes revealed heart-pounding excitement, saying, even if this is Naval Headquarters, I will not be afraid, only more excited. Quote dot dot dot, Sengoku snorted coldly, a stern look appeared in his eyes, and said, that's what you asked for. Hum. After this sentence, the golden giant Buddha incarnated by Sengoku burst out with a more terrifying momentum fluctuation, obviously preparing for battle. No way. Although there are some unhappy Luo Lei. Moved the beast Kaido to naval headquarters and caught them off guard. But, hundred beasts Kaido is here, then is the marine's marshal, he not only has to take a strong shot, but also strike hard in front of countless marine soldiers in the naval headquarters, even if it is one of the four emperors. What about the beast Kaido? Moreover, it's not that Kaido hasn't invaded marine. But, 
every invasion ended in failure, and this time will definitely be the same. Hum, hum, and after the giant Buddha incarnated by Sengoku entered a state of battle. With four terrifying breaths, I saw three Admiral Kazaru, Akainu, Aokiji, and Marine Hero Garp also came to the scene. Marine 3 Admiral and Garp Vice Admiral are also here, CCFF. Seeing Kazaru, Akainu, Aokiji, and Marine Heroes, Garp, Naval Headquarters, countless Marines who appeared together, all showed excitement. Kaido, one of the four emperors, is very strong, but, facing Marines 3 Admiral, Marshal, and Marine Hero Garp, he will definitely be severely suppressed. Wu, the Qinglong incarnated by Kaido was not afraid at all, and roared extremely arrogantly, then let's fight to the end. Whoosh. After this sentence, a cracking sound rang out. Beast Kaido recovered from the blue dragon form and quickly fell to the square of naval headquarters. Ice Age. Seeing this scene, Aokiji's body flashed, and he also stood on the square, taking the lead in launching an attack. Dot 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 dot. Centered on Aokiji's feet. In vain, strands of cold air appeared in the square, and then spread away in an instant. 8 feet Joan Tomo. Meteor Volcano. Almost at the same time. Kazaru and Akainu, one of the three admiral, also launched their own attack. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. In an instant, golden light bullets like raindrops and magma fists like meteor showers fell madly from the sky, like a violent storm, and stormed towards Kaido, the beast. This is the strength of admirals. Too strong. Shocking. Absolutely stunning. Marine 3 Admiral will not take action. It was amazing when it started. Even if it is not the first time for many Marine soldiers to see it, they are still shocked when they see it. Garp, Sengoku also withdrew from the state of the giant Buddha, saying, let's do it together, even if we suppress Kaido, the beast. All right, Garp put down the senbei in his hand and nodded with a headache. If it is someone else, three Admiral shots are actually enough, but, facing the beast Kaido, he and Sengoku must make a shot, so that in the shortest time, the physical strength of the beast Kaido, armament hockey consume clean, suppress. Otherwise, without ten days and a half months, this battle will not end. As for killing, stop joking, for the time being, Marine has not found a way to kill Kaido, the beast. Soon, Sengoku and Garp also got into the fight. Above the plaza of naval headquarters, Suddenly, there was a deafening roar, and the countless marine soldiers who saw it were numb. There is a war going on at naval headquarters. Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, Garp, and Sengoku have all made their move, wanting to suppress Kaido as soon as possible, so as not to cause a bigger storm in naval headquarters. But, known as, the strongest creature, undead Kaido. It's not blown out either. Relying on his, undead, body, even if he was beaten badly, he still came abruptly. For a time, there is no tendency to defeat. In response, Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, Garp, and Sengoku seemed to have already expected, and the five attacked in turn, frantically consuming Kaido's stamina and armament hockey. At the same time, New World's Field Island, quiet. A dead silence. Watching Luo lay riding a beast at a very fast speed, the green dragon incarnated by Kaido disappeared. This sea area fell into silence, and many people who were fleeing frantically showed lingering fears, couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief, and finally collapsed on the deck, carefully wiping the cold sweat from their foreheads. It's not easy. I was almost killed by the beast Kaido just now. To know, after a long battle, the beast's Kaido has gone completely crazy and intends to destroy everything. Not only the spectators, but even the pirates on the beast's pirates will be attacked indiscriminately. Result, at the crucial moment, Luo Lei, who has never done anything. They actually became dragon knights, and the blue dragon riding the incarnation of Kaido, the beast, disappeared in midair, which also saved their lives from the side. Where did Luo Lei take the beast's Kaido? I don't know, but, with the strength of the beasts. Kaido, it shouldn't die. It's too powerful, even if the beast Kaido doesn't die, no pirate in the G1 branch of New World dares to underestimate it. Whether it is Hoshigaki Kisame, Serutobi Hiruzen, Yei Ai, they are all monster-level ninjas comparable to the Four Emperors level, and Marine's strength has increased invisibly, and our life will be difficult in the future. Not long after, after recovering, many people watching the battle, including those who spied on from afar, 
did not look very good, and some of them had begun to worry about the future of the New World Pirates. Although the relationship between Luo Lei and Naval Headquarters is not very harmonious, there is still some gap between them. But, whatever it is, the current Luo Lei, but the Vice Admiral of Naval Headquarters, the Substitute Admiral. Once he is willing to go back to Naval Headquarters, Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, Sarutobi Hiruzen, Yeui Ai, Hoshigaki Kisame, even if it is to encircle and suppress any four emperors, they will all be able to capture them. Tingling. There is also the water style of pervert, which controls the sea water, it is simply Tiong demon fruit power. If Luole contributes water style to world government, that might be the end of the pirates. Laugh. That is at this time. On the merchant ship Zephyr was on, there was a slight spatial fluctuation. Immediately afterwards, Luo Lei appeared on the deck, took a cup of tea that Zephyr had just poured, and took a sip. The tea is still hot. The next moment, after putting down the teacup, Luo Lei stretched and chuckled, everything is done. Duh. Zephyr looked a little stiff, rubbed his cheeks with his hands, and then subconsciously asked, could it be that you really sent Kaido to Naval Headquarters Marineford? Why not? Luo Lei glanced at the sea in the distance, and said indifferently, I'm going to work, naval headquarters has to do something, right? Incredible. After hearing this, Zephyr's expression was a little surprised. But, when I think of some actions of the world government. Also relieved, maybe the sea really needs to change, but does Luo Lei really have that ability? Maybe, there is. On the outside, I promise, and I hit the inside with a heavy punch. I saw Sarutobi Hiruzen dodged a few times and also appeared on the deck. He chuckled lightly, throw Kaido, one of the four emperors, to naval headquarters, and let the marine executives warm up collectively. As he spoke, he threw Quinn, whose hands were covered in blood, on the deck, making a heavy collision sound. It's finally done. Clap la la. Hoshigaki Kisame also got out of the sea, threw Jin on the deck, grinned, and said, this guy isn't dead yet, hand it over to naval headquarters for a little ransom. One of the three plagues, Jin's bounty is 1.39 billion Bailey, Quinn is 1.32 billion Bailey, plus Kaido's 4.6111 billion Bailey, this time Marine will give us a total of 7221.1 million Bailey. You don't need a fraction, just give an integer. When it comes to this, Hoshigaki Kisame also glanced at Zephyr and said with a smile, this time I will trouble you old man. Understood. Zephyr's mouth twitched slightly, but he wisely didn't say anything more. Anyway, Marine is a big fat sheep. It's not too much to brush some wool, but will naval headquarters give it? He believed that he would definitely give it. After all, today is different from the past, Luo Lei's strength is too shocking. Ha ha ha, I haven't played so well in a long time. Laugh. After a few seconds, Ye Ui also landed on the deck, laughed loudly, and said, Boss Luo Lei, if you hadn't transferred the beast Kaido to naval headquarters, I could have fought with him for ten days and a half months. Too much trouble. Luo Lei shrugged and said meaningfully, wouldn't it be beautiful to let naval headquarters fight? It seems to be. Ye Ui thought about it for a while, and then said seriously, this time I will go back and practice armament hockey and conqueror's hockey. When I practice to the same level as Kaido, my strength will definitely skyrocket. Me too. Sarutobi Hiruzen's expression also became serious, and said, the top powerhouses in the sea are not fuel-efficient lamps, and I have to become stronger. Boss Luo Lei, why don't we just find an island and fix it? A smile flashed in Hoshigaki Kisami's golden pupils, and he said something subconsciously. Can. Luo Lei smiled and nodded. In this battle, Yeui, Sarutobi Hiruzen, and Hoshigaki Kisame all gained something. Letting them take a swipe is conducive to the enhancement of their strength, it just so happens that he can exchange a little lottery point and have a good lottery. Not long after, the merchant ship that Luo Lei and others took left the sea slowly. Who? This sea is going to run wild. The pattern of New World has completely changed. Even the four emperors' life is not easy, and the other big pirates are also uncomfortable. Luo Lei's subordinates Hoshigaki Kisame, Yei Ai, and Sarutobi Hiruzen's strengths have all been exposed. Naval headquarters and the world government must also be shocked, they can only take one step at a time. The times are going to run wild. Quote, quote, looking at the backs of Luo Lei and others leaving on the merchant ship. In this sea area, 
many people couldn't help showing a look of astonishment, and there was a burst of surprise in their eyes. Although I don't know where Kaido, one of the four emperor's beasts, was transferred to by Luo Lei's teleportation ninjutsu, but, there is no doubt that the beast's pirates lost, and they lost very thoroughly. No one knows what the consequences of a four emperor's pirate group's fiasco will lead to, perhaps the only certainty is that the sea is going to run wild. Holy Land Maria Joy Inside a conference room on the top floor of Pongal Castle, the five elders were watching the live broadcast there, especially after seeing the merchant ship that Luo Lei and others were on gradually disappearing, the faces of the five five elders were not very good looking, and they could see each other's eyes when they looked at each other. The shock and disbelief in it. What about a lose-lose situation? What about destroying a four emperor's pirate group? As promised, Luo Lei and others were wiped out by the beast's Kaido. Not a single one. Luo Lei's subordinates Hoshigaki Kisame, Yeui, Serutobi Hirazan burst out with amazing strength, in turn crushed beasts pirates, and finally used ninjutsu to transfer Kaido of the beasts, but they didn't kill Kaido of the beasts anyway. In other words, this time Luo Lei stepped on the beasts and Kaido came to the throne, but none of the scenes that the five elders really wanted to see happened. What should I do now? Luo Lei stepped on the beast Kaido, and he will definitely shock the whole sea. Do you think Luo Lei can be promoted to Marine Admiral? Three of his subordinates were promoted to Vice Admiral of the Ministry and Substitute Admiral. Absolutely not, Luo Lei is not easy to control, and his subordinates have no sense of belonging and mission to the world government, promotion to Vice Admiral of the Headquarters is already the limit, if promoted to Marine Admiral, on the one hand, the strength of Naval Headquarters will skyrocket and CP will can't hold back, on the other hand, Luo Lei is not easy to control unless he can take the initiative to admit to Celestial Dragons. What should we do then? With the strength of Luo Lei and his subordinates, they have stayed in the G1 branch for a long time. If they are independent, it will be a new naval headquarters. Anyway, try to keep Luo Lei steady, don't let him be a pirate. Ninjutsu, that magical ninjutsu, our world government needs, once we get teleportation ninjutsu and water style ninjutsu, our world government's rule will be more stable. Not long after. The five five elders sat around a round table and made their own voices. But, obviously, the opinions of the five people can't be unified for a long time. Some people want to promote Luo Lei, some people don't agree, but, they want to stabilize Luo Lei, but they can't come up with the corresponding how to deal with it. For a time, the meeting has reached an impasse. It doesn't work, it doesn't work, what should I do? I do not know how long it has been. One of the five elders, who was wearing a dark green suit with a bald head, said impatiently, Luo Lei's general situation has become a reality, and his three subordinates have combat power comparable to that of the four emperors. Thief, Marine is afraid that he will not be completely suppressed. It is impossible for him to be promoted to Marine Admiral. After hearing this, another five elders with a flat hat and a scar on his left face said coldly, three years ago, he was hidden in the snow because of celestial dragons, and he rose after three years, who knows if it will get worse. So what should I do now? The bald five elders in a dark green suit said with disdain, we defeated the beast's pirates. If our world government doesn't say anything, then Luo Lei will be finished. He, he did it on purpose. Boom, not to mention it's okay. As soon as he said that the five elders, who was wearing a flat hat and had a scar on his left cheek, slapped the table fiercely, and said coldly, with his strength, he could have left Marine long ago, but he has not been able to escape. No, this time, Kaido, the beast, has not been resolved either. I suspect that he did this on purpose, so that the world government and the naval headquarters would be at odds with each other. Ninjutsu is really amazing, why don't we let Luo Lei hand over teleportation ninjutsu and water style ninjutsu, as well as chakra's training method, we will promote him to admiral. Sudden, a five elders wearing a dark red suit and blonde hair ignored the two five elders who were arguing and said cheerfully, once we can learn teleportation ninjutsu and water style ninjutsu, our strength will at least improve, double. Ah, the voice did not fall. The other four five elders all showed a look of helplessness, and looked at the five elders as if they were mentally retarded. Others press the bottom of the box. Will you submit it voluntarily? I am afraid that Luo Lei will react and become a pirate simply because he has not just put forward the conditions. I'm just saying. 
The blonde five elders in a dark red suit also seemed to realize that he was too whimsical, smiled awkwardly, and immediately stopped talking. Okay. The next moment, the five elders with the highest status among the five elders shook his head, took a deep breath, and said solemnly, whether calculating or not, where is Luo Lei's strength? As long as it doesn't touch ours. The bottom line is that he cannot be allowed to become a pirate. So, I'm going to ask Lord Yim. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.